Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Welcome to <clears throat> another stream. How the fuck's everybody doing here? We are, uh, it's pretty early right now, huh? It's fucking 2.58 live. That's not bad. I was gonna go live like an hour ago, but then I was like, eh, maybe we just go live at near three o'clock. I think that's just more, like, I don't know. I, to be honest, I was busy woodcutting on RuneScape. I was, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get my fire making to 50. I'm starting to get addicted to it again. So that's not good for anything except for uh, the people in the clan chat there. Because it just makes me busy with other stuff. Like play, like playing RuneScape for no reason. So I need to uh, get, I need to stop doing that because that's not good. Um, but it is funny. Uh, Adam is live. Adam is doing his first IRL stream, which is... Uh, I was watching it. It's pretty interesting. I mean, he's just outside his shop doing what he does, dude. Fucking just talking to people and just whatever the fuck. So I don't know. Uh, today is actually going to be two different streams. Okay. So we're going to stream right, like right now, like we are. Uh, and then I have fucking something to go to. I have like a date to go to at five. And then after I get back, I'm probably gonna be wasted. And I'm, we're going to start the stream again when I get home. And uh, we're going to eliminate one of the butlers tonight. So I don't know what time that's going to be. I would say probably like eight o'clock or nine o'clock or something. So two different streams today is what we're going to do instead of just uh, motherfucking ass, uh, you know, just one stream at one time. So. I don't know who's going to go. I'm thinking it's either going to be JJ or uh, Hector, probably just because, I mean, the chats, the chat is, <laughs> is very vocal about who they don't like. But at the same time, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I JJ and Hector, they have been working a lot more since this morning, uh, but they are definitely two of the worser ones. Hector does work very, very well. He's He is a good butler. He does work well, but he talks he doesn't talk like a butler enough, you know what I mean? Uh, whereas JJ, he talks like a butler, but he doesn't work enough. So I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know how uh, who's going to go. But, you know, everyone in the house, I'll get together and then we'll, you know, talk about it on stream. And then we'll make the choice uh, and vote out who the fuck is uh, going to be the you know first eliminated one. And I'm going to be wasted probably because I always drink when I go out and do stuff. So. Should be fun. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thank you, EBZ Hampton. Appreciate the member, dude. Hector needs to get kicked. He's a tool. Yeah, so I don't even Hector know what happened last kicked. night. He's a tool. I don't really know what happened last night. I guess, uh, I don't know, what, JJ and Hector, they just both went out and just fucking smoked weed or something. We're just fine. Yeah, I mean, I was fucking I sleeping, but. Music. No one cares about her. Okay, thank you, bro. Thank you, Greek. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't think anybody in the chat really wants me to fucking play RuneScape, to be honest. Um, I mean, some people do, but most people don't give a shit about RuneScapes. And it's I'm literally just doing low-tier content, like cutting trees or fire-making my ult. So that's not really what people care about, I would say. So CX in the chat. Let me see. Lucas already quit under pressure today. Well, I mean, he didn't quit. He almost quit. He had a panic attack. He hit in the tent. And then he came out, and he was fine. So Lucas, he or Hector, or whatever, he was very... Um, he was very, like, he was pressed today. JJ and uh, Scuffed Cornbread, they were pressing the fuck out of him. And uh, he almost quit. He was like, I don't know if I could take this anymore. People are touching my face. People are trying to draw a dick in my face and do weird shit. Uh, so I don't I don't think, uh, I don't know. I don't think he can do well under pressure, which is not good. Because as the butler, you should be able to do well under pressure. That's sort of the whole point of uh, pressure, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I guess we'll just see how it all ends up. I guess, um, but I don't know. The Discord recap, we are still working on that. I don't know when that's actually gonna be implemented. Um, my mods are working on something, but you know, it's, it just takes time. We gotta make like bots and little things here and there. So we'll see how this all goes. I mean, the current one that we have isn't very good. It's just like, you know, like I said, random ass little photos and stuff that get pinned from random people, but uh, we wanna make a real one. Um, that's not just the scuffed one that we currently have. Thank you, Super. I appreciate that. Appreciate the member, dude. Thank you very much, homie. The, uh, let me see what the actual straw poll is looking like right now. So last night I posted a straw poll for all of the butlers. Can and uh, back in house, let's see what positive. the updated one is here. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> can you put Bjorn back in the house? Keep 
Stay on positive, bro. We lit. Uh, okay, thank you, dude. Fucking Bjorn. I told him to fucking live in the house, but he doesn't want a visa, I guess. All right, let's see if the results have changed at all. The results. Oh, Please actually have changed house. for Nigel number one, I Butler Bell number two. Of walking, but we are not all 300 pounds, mate. Maybe you should take a little stroll around the block sometime. It might save your life. Okay, let's not get into that, please, and thank you. Um, that JJ didn't get any more votes, but Nigel now is in first place over Butler Bell, which is pretty different here. I don't know if it's, it's not rigged. I mean, this is just what the viewers uh, voted for, so and it was pinned in Discord, so it changed a little bit. So I have no idea about all of that. Um, so it is what it is. The plan for right now is nothing too special because like i said i'm only going to be on until five o'clock because i have something to do and then we're going to come back later tonight and actually do the elimination process i saw that crazy tempo did make a tweet at me well, saying uh, some dumb shit the network who live on the east coast shout out dmvx 2100 i mean i guess i mean if you have a good fucking stream enough where i will uh you know notice it then sure i mean i, I mean, we have fucking kiara kitty who lives in goddamn singapore Okay, look at this fool right here. So this guy, he likes to make tweets. Greek Let God is just a fat Ron, Jeremy. Okay. Everybody tag Greek God and mock him. Okay, don't, let's not get into that, please. And thank you. Um, let ISIS I know he won't be able to stream in Hollywood anymore. I'm not Hampton Brandon. Uh, shit got serious. Now watch your back, bro. You won't know what's coming. You don't know when I'm coming. And that taser didn't scare me. Suck my dick sideways ice. Okay. If you have to censor the word shit, then you're not a gangster. I don't like it's fucking Twitter. Why the fuck do you have to censor stuff? Like, it, why the fuck do you have to censor the word shit? Like, I don't understand. Like, you're like, you're just, I don't know, dude. This guy was just, this guy's retarded. I don't know. And I won't be able to stream in Hollywood anymore. Okay. Well, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. If you pull up, you're going to get tased. That's just how it's going to go. You can be a big, muscular dude all you want, but a taser is going to uh, drop you like a fucking fish on me. updates on the app? When is it coming out? Uh, if you're talking about the Scuffed app, then I have no idea. A couple weeks out, you know, when the website launches, the app will launch. So that's all I'm saying. For Isolation.com, I think we just scrapped that app because we don't really need it, I think. Hey, dude, love all your streams. Much love. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, obviously, Tempo is just a fucking leech, so I'm not even going to pay attention to that. Vancouver, Canada, and door to weave. Okay, enough of the weed shit. Thank you, dude. But I do want to go to Vancouver soon enough. So um, I do want to travel. Like I said, once we pick the butler, we have no reason not to do a travel stream. I want to do a house party, and then we're going to travel somewhere. We're going to have the RV as well. So, uh, I mean, it's still going to get renovated. But we're probably going to fly somewhere. Andy Milanakis said he's going to go to Japan sometime in March. And I think I'm going to correlate with hey, him I so we can go to Japan to together. Desktop streams are the way to go. Join me or die. Join me or die. Okay, thank, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um, so me and Andy Milanakis were talking about it. I think we're going to end up going to Japan together. Uh, or, like, we're going to just be there at the same time. And uh, I really want Andy to show me around some good sushi spots. We went, Me and Andy went to the sushi spot a couple nights ago. It was, like, some really nice shit. I don't know what it was called. It was, like, uh, Oken, like Okihara or just, I don't know. They serve it at, like, a bar, dude. It took, like, two hours, and there's like, one piece of sushi at a time. It was really fucking nice. Uh, so if I go to... You know, if Andy fucking joins Japan with me, that would be really sick. And we can, he just show me around here and there. Uh, otherwise, I'd just be trying to figure out shit on my own, I guess. What happened to the 70K dump truck? Uh, well, it's being fixed right now, renovated. We're going to get that very soon. So, you know, that will be good. Um, but I do want to take everyone in the house with me. Don't know if it's going to work out. Depends if we get uh, a company card or not. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. Stream idea. Go somewhere with the butlers and try to help civilians. Good way to get you out of the house. Also, Dan, three candy. Thank you. Uh, I mean, that we, I've had ideas for that. Um, right now, we're not going to do that because I have something to do at 5 o'clock. But we're definitely going to... When we do, when we eliminate the very first one, then it's going to start getting a little bit harder. We go out with all the butlers. We're going to do stuff. We're going to, you know, give them tasks and do things. And, you know, we're going to just make Tarzana alive. We're going to turn it into something more alive for sure. Um, because yeah, the butlers have been having it way too easy besides carrying me up and down stairs and doing, you know, extensive stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. I think that I've been pretty easy on them so far, so I have no idea. Um, 
but yeah, I think the first travel thing, like I said, is Japan, but we'll see how that all goes. Uh, my camera's actually broken for I my live view, so. To give me treats, say checks. I want butlers to give me treats, because he want butlers to give me treats, because he want... right, I don't know what that means, but thank you. I guess, Masha, okay, give him treats. Um, my camera for my live view is actually broken. Yesterday, I streamed off a phone. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just stream off phones, but I just don't like it. The internet's just always not very too great for the most part. I have a suit here, because tonight we're going somewhere very fancy, or I'm going somewhere very fancy off stream, and... Uh, I haven't had a suit so in so Hollywood fucking long, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look really fucking good. Look for scuffed Tarek Nasheed. Dude, I don't wanna look for crazy tempo, dude. I don't, like, fuck that guy. He's the leech, dude. Who cares? Like, who, like, he's just a fucking idiot, dude. That's all he is. Who's your favorite butler? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say right now. I, I like Nigel and the black dude. I think they're both great. Um, yeah, no, that dude, crazy tempo is, he's retarded. I don't wanna go look for him. I don't wanna fuck give him any attention. You've lost 10k viewers in the last two weeks. Okay, let's, so uh, happy can you not, like, talk shit about him, please? Thank you very much. It's just, I don't want to get into that. It's un unnecessary button. as fuck. Jacob's in a suit, too. Well, no, that suit that Jacob's wearing is actually the, my suit. He, uh, went out, he rented it for me, and then he's wearing it, and then he's, you know, he's going to give it to me. So, it's only, like, 100 bucks to rent a really nice suit. That's not bad. That was really good. Oh, I fucking liked it, dude, so. Um, I think I look really good. Yeah? How you doing, amigo? Hi. Cleaning the the bathtub. Uh huh. Oh, uh yeah, -huh. dude. Hey, hey, the fucking the plumbers, dude. Taking, they're kid. fixing the bathtub, dude. He says his number in the song. I posted that on Discord and got banned. Can you please unban me on Discord? My Discord name is Supra. Okay, you should message the mods about that because the mods deals all the unbans, not me. Uh, useless, no, they're not useless plumbers, dude. They're good. They're not fucking uh, bullshit around. It. Are you guys gonna be in here for a while? Are you guys gonna be in here for a while? Talking? I'm doing a live stream. You guys wanna be a part of it? It's a, it's motherfucking on camera with a bunch of people. You guys, yeah, okay, just fix. All right, the bathtub, dude. Fuck it, dude. Content more than slaves is not content. Room, escape, music, weed, content, games, weed is content. You are brainwashed, ice, and peace. Okay, thank you, dude. I'm not the uh, brainwash yeah, freak. Thank you, dude. Uh, but RuneScape, like, it's just me cutting trees. It's not, nobody cares about that. If you don't fucking play RuneScape, you definitely don't give a shit about that. These, they're talking too much. Fuck. They are very loud in the background there. Um, Ice, please come back to UK and come to Scotland. What was your best travel stream moment? Don't scam. Let me see. What was this? Best travel stream moment? Okay, so first thing I see when I click on this clip is fucking Burger Planet, but Gross Score. Burger Planet and Gross Score, two of the most, I'd say, annoying people out there. So this clip's already starting off great. Fucking stinks of weed. They've been blazing weed. That's why they're lazy ass streamers. Fight. No, I smoke what? sativa. And what? Yeah, it. I know. What do you stream? We have legends all day. I spoke to Ice Poseidon yesterday. No I said, Ice Poseidon, why are you streaming? He went, I had... Uh, yeah, there's never a notification when I go live. It's fine. YouTube hates Dude, me. It's my day off. <laughs> it's my day off. When I say it's every day's your day off. What? Okay, you Mr. Know it. I didn't sleep for two months. I got a new car. Slash Reddit Ice Poseidon. You know it. Fuck the quarantine. Fact. Yeah, I know. At least I shut my Reddit down like you. <laughs> yeah, fuck the quarantine, indeed. Um, it's funny when he said that, because Ghost Corps literally took, uh, I don't know how many fucking months off when he had to go buy a new car. Like, he literally took a month off trying to, to buy a car, dude. So I'm not really sure what uh, he was talking about there. But I don't know. It's funny, nonetheless. Can you travel to India? Uh, I mean, fucking India's. is... Uh, I mean, I could, but I, I don't have any desire to go to India. It's just a, isn't it dirty? Isn't it fucking dirty over there? I was talking to SSJ about being the behind-the-scenes video editor. He followed me in like the videos I submitted, but a couple of days ago when I went to confirm things, he never replied. Any updates? I'm gonna send that motherfucker back to the UK, amigo. Okay, that was fucking fake. What are you guys doing? We're just, uh, you know, he's he's kept. Can you talk, to these, guys, can you, can you talk to these guys and get him on stream? Hola, amigos, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien. 
Bien, bien. ¿Quiere, uh, ¿Quieres venir aquí? ¿Va a salir a la televisión? Sí. No, ¿quiere, ¿quieres salir a la televisión? Eh? Sí, hombre. Sí. No, sí. venga aquí, venga. La televisión puede. Yeah, sí, tiene ahorita, uh, tiene como 5 millones de uh, personas uh, mirando ahorita. So, Mamacitas and señoritas. Oh, yeah. These are yeah. my amigos right here, guys. Can you tell them that uh, the bathtub was wetter than a girl's pussy last night? La, <laughs> la baño estaba mojado como uh, she missing la culo, la culo Why the fuck is she even in a oh, streamer uh, house? Okay. You know? Culo, culo de, de... Yeah, she, has, she, she <laughs> has another place to live for some reason. Can you, so can you ask them why, why is it taking a week to fix the plumbing? Por qué um, está haciendo la plumbing por un, una semana? Eh, no, no está más rápido. No, porque no. Eh, eh, before, es supuesto de probar el plumbing, pero right now, the check, no plumbing, es de, es de stack of wood. Es de, es different. Are, are they paying you guys? Mm -hmm. the, the stack of wood. Are they, are they paying you guys? Mm -hmm. It's different. Well, of course they're paying them. Well, Mr. Poseidon, they might not be getting paid. That's why they're not coming. No, they, they no this isn't slave labor, dude. That's only for you. Do you guys like working here? Mm -hmm. It's a nice house, right? Yeah, yeah. nice house. This is my uh, my new uh, and his butler. slave oh, butler. Yes. Oh, okay. ¿Quieres un agua? Uh, no, thank you. Hey. Can I get you anything? They probably Mr. think Poseidon? I'm selling drugs for a chapo. They might. Because you got that mask on and everything. They might think you're selling cocaine and everything, amigo. No, I'm good, bro. How, how do you feel for that 250 milligram brownie? I have a little bit of a weed hangover, and then amigo, you have a weed hangover. Yeah, a little bit, and amigo Nigel got me a little high with the stream too, so I'm feeling a little slow today. Just today? Well, yesterday too, but. Yeah. Tell me what uh, what does it feel like right now? Just you're out my, of it. My head is just is spinning a little bit, and I was I was petting Senora Macha, and I felt like I was petting like a soft blanket. I, I'm just feeling really high. All right, well, I would recommend uh, drinking a lot of caffeine. Take one of those Red Bulls and drink it. You'll feel fine. Could I have that one right there? Sir? Yeah, yeah, take that one. You can have it. Thank Just, you so uh, much, amigo. One of Mr. Poseidon's sugar-free uh, Red Bulls. I appreciate you, Mr. Poseidon. Okay, thank you. Thank you one of y'all will get eliminated tonight, so just be careful. I hope it's not me, sir. I hope it's the mister who goes back to the UK. Thank I mean, so why do you hate him so much? I mean, he just keeps telling me to clean here and clean there while I'm doing my things. And I tell him, worry about your duties, and I worry about mine, you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, okay, fuck it. I mean, basically, that sounds about right to me. All right, cool. So, yeah, Mr. Poseidon, uh, I hope I am the one of the last people here. I believe I will be. Uh, Take it easy, sir. All right, yes, yeah, so I, I like you, bro. Is so. your plate out of the way? No, it's fine. Just leave it there. Thank okay. you, dude. And does uh, Senorita Kimberly need anything? No, she's sleeping, dude. Okay, amigo. I hope you have a good day. Do you want um, me to close your door? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Uh... Oh, that brings it up. I asked Kimberly if she wanted to stay and uh, live with me. She helps me a lot. She makes me really happy, dude. So I hope that's not a mistake on uh, our, our part in a relationship. Because I know sometimes when you ask somebody to live with you, it's like shit can definitely go iffy sometimes, uh, depending on, you know, because now you're always around people or you're always around that person. So hopefully that's the right move. But... Uh, I don't like long distance. When she, like she lives in Missouri, I don't like long distance. So I was like, "Listen, can you just like, do you want to just live with me?" And she's like, uh, "Okay." So I mean, she's a really nice girl. She makes me really happy. So um, you know what I mean? Like, fuck it. Like, I just really, uh, I really like her company. I, long distance was just making me sad. Let me see. What is this? Hey, I just hope you don't ever taste someone like this. What is this? Of course she said okay. Well, I mean, she's a nice girl, dude. She makes me really happy. What is this? Just some guy getting fucking tased? I hope I taste somebody like this. I don't know, some random fucking video, so it's fine. Uh, I don't think that's a yikes. Chat, I mean, I think that's cool. Like, I've never lived with a girlfriend before. This is going to be interesting. Like, that's going to be really, really nice. Um, and she's actually helped a lot with... Uh, I don't know, just when I have, like, issues, like, and I need somebody to talk to, she, like, talks with me and helps me, you know, go through, like, little fucking stressful situations that I'm in. Like, I don't know. I just really enjoy her company, so. I hope that's, you know, hopefully, you know, a year from now, we're just going to be, like, truly just like this, connected, so. And I just want to reiterate, she has absolutely 
no impact on my streams whatsoever. Um, she, I actually told her, and she said it in Discord. I got very annoyed because she kept asking me about my streams. I just said, listen, don't ever talk to me about my streams. Don't fucking, don't say anything. Just don't say anything about my streams. Like, I don't want to hear it. You're my girlfriend. You're not my fucking employee. I don't want to hear it. Don't ever ask me to go live. Don't ever ask me how my stream was. Don't ever ask me about anything. Uh, and she's like, okay. Um, so, I think it's going to be fun. Because I have a lot of people around me that I can't really talk to, like, emotionally. And she helps me stay emotionally intact. Um, and, like, on a healthy level. So, Tempo will be back. Ah, well, Tempo can fucking suck a nut, dude. Last time she was here two weeks ago, you almost broke up. But sure, live with her. You're so fucking stupid. Well, okay, so two weeks ago, we did almost break up. And then, well, we actually did break up for, like, a, for like a day. And then we actually... We're talking after that. We came to a compromise and we were, we were just like, all right. The compromise was, I told her, you're not allowed, like, don't look at Reddit anymore. Don't fucking talk to me about my streams anymore. Just don't involve yourself with anything to do with my, like, I just don't want to hear it from you. Um, you know, because she was always telling me like, when are you going to go live? When are you going to go live? Like every fucking 10 minutes. I'm just like, shut the, f I'm just like, stop. Like, I just didn't like that. So that was the compromise because she was just stressing me out and I felt a lot of pressure. Uh, and then there was other stuff that I don't really want to get into that were just uh, not good for us. But we got over it and uh, we're all good now. And we've never been happier, to be honest. Like, I'm really good. So let me see. As long as you don't bring your work home and never treat Kim like anything other than the way you want to be treated, how your relationship goes well. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I want to do. I just want, you know, I think I treat her well. I think uh, we're happy together, so I think it's all good. Um, I actually haven't been this happy in a while, chat. I have been, like, very, the past month, I've been, like, really stressed out about a lot of random shit and just always have had really, um, like, I just didn't really have people to open up to and talk to. So now that she, you know, is here, I have her to open up to and I have her, have her to talk to and I can just stay happy. Because um, even when I do feel sad, I can just, you know, it's just nice, you know, to have somebody that can comfort you that isn't trying to look for fucking donation bait or whatever the fuck, like some other people might. Scam Pernitas don't know. India's content overload so many homeless. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of homeless there, but, uh, you know, I'll probably be in India one day, but we'll see. It's funny how you're acting like you gave her instructions. You're acting alpha like you gave her instructions. In reality, she has you whipped like a runaway slave. Um, no, I don't have... She's not, she doesn't have me whipped at all. And a friend 2.0, listen, let me tell you something. A friend made a mistake by getting a, his girlfriend actually pregnant uh, in a short-term relationship. That you know, they, they were only dating for, what, a couple months and he got her pregnant? That's not good. You got to wait years before you get someone pregnant and get stuck in a situation like that. Um... I've been dating Kimberly for about five months now, and we get along pretty well. And, uh, you know, at any point, the relationship could just, you know, like we, we're not stuck together. Like a friend would be stuck with his girlfriend. So it's not really uh, bad. Like she's a really nice girl. She really helps me out with a lot of stuff. And people might say, oh, she's a stream sniper, this and that. But like, who cares? Like, it doesn't really matter. She's, she was a viewer, but. It doesn't really matter, dude. I don't think it does. I don't know. There's no way I'm ever going to meet somebody who isn't a viewer. So, Or if I do meet them, then eventually they will just become a viewer. So it's like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, she said she was on the pills. That's what I'm saying. Like, Kimberly's very honest and very genuine. So she would never lie about something like that. I don't think she's ever lied to me once. Uh, abortion is murder. Uh, well, I mean... If it's under three months, it's not really murder, I don't think, but it's fine to me. I just looking like a snack. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't think abortion's murder if it's like two, three months into it. I mean, maybe it is. I don't fucking know. I still love you too much. Please say my name. What's up, Zuck? How you doing, homie? No impact on stream, by the way, ending at five for a date. Well, yeah, but then I'm going to stream again later tonight and do an elimination to the butler. Uh, I don't go on dates very often. We just got somewhere that's very... Uh, somebody invited us to somewhere that's really nice, and this is the only day we could have done it, so... It's all, you know, it works out. It's good. So does a date, does that mean date with Gucci bag Andy? Also, we have restored the power. Okay, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that, homie. All right, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. 
Let me just do this. Um, I actually have only bought her one Louis Vuitton bag. That's not a Gucci bag, so I don't know. I think it's kind of funny how people say that, but I don't really care. It is what it is, <clears throat> to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm really happy. Like the past year, I don't think I've been happy for a while, chat. I, I, like I really have it. I've always had to worry about some random shit. I've always, always had to worry about community Please stuff, listen. Reddit Please. stuff. Never really had people to talk to. I had Caroline when I was secretly dating her, but like it was a secret, so it wasn't that great. I really, really am just very happy right now with my current friends, my girlfriend, state of my job. I think everything's just running very smoothly right now. Even though two weeks ago it was very stressful and every aspect, it's all just come together now and it eventually does come together. Symptoms of codependency? Okay. I'm not codependent. Hold on, let me close the door. Let me tell you. I'm not fucking codependent on anybody, dude. Um, it's normal for somebody to make you happy. Uh, I mean, I can make myself happy if I was single. That's complete. That's normal. Like I can do that easily. Uh, either even if I, you know, by having sex with random fucking leeches so, yeah, or just like doing stuff in my own free time to make me happy. But it's just nicer to have someone I can talk to and communicate with, um, in like a different kind of way. You saw my comment. Chill the fuck out, homie. Yolo. Hey, thank you, Skirts. I appreciate that. Uh, that fifty, dude. Thank you very much, homie. Um, <laughs> thank you, homie. What about it? Very much, dude. Doesn't stream because he sat there talking to her for three plus hours. Doesn't affect streams, BTW. Okay, Re thank you, dude. I appreciate it. It's very, uh, you know, you got to balance work and relationship. Grimoire work and friendship. Not streamed in ten days. Tell her to go live, or she will get kicked off the CX network. I was talking to her. She's fine. She's just a little stressed out about something right now. So get to it in a little bit. You don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't do the long distance stuff. It was just, it was killing me, dude. I hate, I always hated when she went back. It just made me feel sad. And she's like a real person. And it just made me feel really good. I like having real people in my life because the past year I haven't had too many real people besides only a couple. So it's just really nice. Let me actually show you guys what I got going on here. I know a lot of you probably don't give a shit about RuneScape, but I'll show you uh, what I got going on here because I think some of you who play RuneScape might be interested. What the fuck? You sound and look like she, wake up dude, kick the CK and the C's. What the you fuck is CK like and C's? Wake up the o -O -D, kick the CK and the C's. What the fuck is the CK and the C's? Yo, thank you for the hundred dollars. Mock, I appreciate that, dude. Why the fuck did you give me a hundred dollars, though? <laughs> I don't know, but thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's very nice of you. I don't know why you did that, but <laughs> thank you very much, homie. Um, that's that's very kind. Um, let me see. And then we have tempos near. All right, tempo. Listen, I have a taser right here. Like, tempo is near. it's not loaded, but it doesn't need to be loaded, dude. This shit, like, will fuck you up and drop you in a second. And then even if I need something to shoot him with, like, bro, I have a fucking throwing knife. I'll just throw the fucking knife at him, go through his fucking eye, and then he'll die, dude. Like, it's fine. There's one thing with pulling up to me on the street, but if you pull up to me in the house, I have a bat. I could just smack you with a bat. You know what I mean? So, thank you, Skurzy. I appreciate the mo what the. Another hundred dollars. USA. I mean, I don't even know why. I mean, I appreciate it very much. I just don't know why. I mean, I don't know. Thank you, dude. That's <laughs> that's really nice to you, man. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, man. That's very, <laughs> that's very kind. I I don't even. I just I don't know what to say. Just thank you. I hope that's not a stolen credit card, but that's uh, that's a lot right there. Two hundred bucks. So I appreciate it. So look at this. So I have a nice ultimate Iron Man, and my stats right now are 36 fletching, 44 woodcutting, and 30 construction. I'm aiming for a portal room right now with my uh, account. That's why I have 30 construction. I was picking up a Toronto planks, going, building fucking crude chairs, and back and forth, back and forth till 30. Now my goal is to get a limestone bag so I can build a fucking thing in the games room and then make 50 construction. Or I'm actually, then yesterday, Kyle and Voldis had told me that I don't even need to do construction and I don't even need to fucking sell or, uh, you know, make money. Because I was going to, I was getting my magic 
my fletching, my wood cutting up so I could uh, high elk maple longbows because I need money uh, and a cash stack. But I just decided that doing winter tots is probably the way to go. So I'm working on 50 fire making so I can do winter tots. I'm going to buy a bunch of ke noted kebabs. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. So this is what I've been doing for the whole fucking day. Literally just wood cutting. So this is not really that great to watch or exciting whatsoever. Nobody really cares about that. But, uh, you know, it's there. And I've been playing for a while. Uh, I've been playing this for the past couple of days because I'm actually fucking addicted to RuneScape again. Don't know why. Something about Ultimate Iron Man just really turns me the fuck on. The ability to micromanage everything in your inventory is just so fun to me because I used to play RTS games. So... It just really, like, that ability to micromanage just really made me feel good. I don't really know. Make Nigel farm. Uh, I don't really want the butlers to play the game for me, dude. I'd rather just play the game, even if it's really shitty stuff like agility. That's fine, because I want to feel Make the Nigel accomplishment. Farm. I don't want the butlers to feel like they're doing nothing. So it's fine. And RuneScape's also a really fun game to play when you're high. Join the clan chat, by the way. Um... Tetris 99 is still a game I wanted to play on stream because I think that's a really good game. I think it's fun. I played it for a little bit, but uh, I actually don't have a capture card with my uh, my Nintendo Switch. But Tetris 99 is just really fucking fun. Um, I mean, I haven't won a single game, but I'm just really good at Tetris, so I just enjoyed it a lot. Error 205 in Automatisono API. Failed on line 544. Restarting VM. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means, but thank you for the other 50. That kind of freaks me out because I don't know what that means. But, uh, okay, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, homie. The butlers are getting high. Tempo's more than one person. Okay, Just well, like I'll tase all the motherfuckers and I'll bat them. I, don't, I have baseball bats too, homie. Uh, the butlers should not be getting high, dude. The butlers should be fucking working. Dude, what the fuck? Why the fuck is this dude just smoking weed? What the fuck are they doing, dude? They're just sitting around smoking weed? I mean, maybe the TTS told them to, and I said do whatever the TTS says, but uh, there is something that needs to be done. There's definitely something that needs to happen. Let me... One second. Hey, uh... Lucas. Lucas, Master Persona is requesting you. Why are you guys sitting around smoking weed? You guys are supposed to be working. Yes, sir. Smoking weed? No, sir. We Sitting work. around smoking motherfucking weed. You know that shit makes you lazy. Who was that? Who the fuck is that? Okay. Who told you to smoke weed? They told you to smoke weed because they want you to lose. You know that, right, Lucas? Um, permission to speak open? Yes. You tell me not to do what they say. You tell me to do what they say. It's confusing. No, I, I said I said use common sense. You did say that. Smoking weed for twenty minutes is not effect. It's not efficient. It wasn't twenty minutes was it? It was like five. I don't know, but it's not efficient. Okay, sorry. I mean, I don't really care if you smoke weed as long as I you know, yeah, yeah, as yeah. long as you still work. I mopped the whole house all by myself. But that's just an excuse. All by yourself. Of course, no one knows how to mop here. They don't know how to mop. I asked. Show me how you mop. Well, I set up the water, which is. Well, do you do side to side or forward to back? Excuse me, sir. You go side to side, nice and respectfully. And if you do forward like that, it's because there's something stuck on the floor and you're trying to get that that real hard. You know? Bro, that's not how you... Ow! That's so not how you mop. Theaters, Hold on. And I've been mopping in theaters. So like, Bro, I've mopped in restaurants. You do not mop like this. You know why? Because it pushes everything around, dude. So you do circles? You have... No, you do this. This is how you mop, dude. Because this doesn't push shit all over the place. Because it actually gets sucked into the broom. Or into the fucking, the mop. But there's nothing on the floor if I sweep before mopping. 
Yeah, but if you just do side to side, it's just pushing shit around. That's true, I'm sorry about that. I won't do a side to side anymore. I still let this be to talk back to you, kick this normie clown. My apologies, Mr. Chat, I know what I'm talking about. I used to be a line cook. It's fine. Figure eight. I mean, I, I've never heard about that. I don't know. It's fine. No, you're, if you mop the whole house by yourself, that's really good. Yeah, that's why I wasn't on stream this whole time until now. And you've been doing it on stream, so the viewers know no, you. No, I haven't been. I've been off stream. I just got on stream, and they asked me to smoke this. That's what they were doing on stream. Well, if you do something all by yourself, that's that hard work, like mopping the whole house, because it's a really big fucking place, and that's a lot of shit to mop. Uh, then you should definitely tell the stream that, but so they can know that you're a hard worker. Say I'm just bragging and lying, because they don't take my word for honesty or real. Have you been? Why do you think that is? Because they, that's what they say. Well, you gotta make them believe you. I believe you. You did mop my room earlier. Because yeah, when you get the, the whole house. Since you have the stream, I would highly suggest showing off your hard work when you have the stream. All right, so should I continue? I was going to continue with downstairs, should I then? Yes, okay. just continue mopping. Do you need anything else? Water, juice? No, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Confront Sorry. Lucas, a.k.a. Hector, for going home last night and sleeping in his apartment and then hitting back hey, the room. Hey, Lucas. Come here. Permission to speak open. Yes. Did you go home and sleep in your apartment last night? First, two things happened. The stream was open. I was presenting. You can go online and watch the whole event. JJ stalked me all the way. We went to the store. We bought two bottles of vodka, tequila. He we stalked you? The stream did. Then we had two bottles of tequila. We took a bunch of dabs. I went home. I wanted to take a shower and jack off, but Hector and the stream followed me. So all I did was get to put on some fresh underwear because I was going commando. You are Hector. I am. Oh, yeah. JJ. My bad. What do you mean he followed you? Well, the stream demanded. They donated money. So he, like he like followed you in, in, in his car? No, no, like, they got in my car. So you went home and you jacked off? No, I wanted to, but they were there, so I couldn't. That's what I was going to do. I was going to go home, jack off, put on some underwear, since I was commando, since you guys made me jump in the pool. And then I just got underwear. That's all I did. Look, I got underwear and two bottles of tequila. So I think we went to the store. And you guys got drunk as fuck yesterday? No, just me. I just took one dab because I was... You know, I need to oh, that's fine. You're allowed to take dabs yeah. and drink and stuff as long as you still work. That's fine. I don't drink. Well, you got today. They, they, they drink. Yeah, but I have a shit ton of alcohol in my house for my aunt. That's funny. All right. No, I just wanted to know because I wasn't sure. I did pull up the stream and you guys were in a car. I didn't really know what that was supposed to, what that was all about. Um, if you do want to pull up the stream, we all slept in the same bed last night. I did not sleep in my bed. I don't need to Good. Do did you enjoy that? You in um, you want with that blonde chick to buy shots. Use this to buy coke. I don't donated 200 to you in Amsterdam when you were with that. What the fuck? I pee too. When you were with that blonde chick to buy shots, you used to buy coke. Okay, that's I, I don't know what to say about that. I don't do coke, but they thank you very much. They deserve an occasional break. Also, you guys need to order a dumpster. And I mean, they are on trial though, but, but yes, a break is fine. It's nasty and will attract rats. It's big as fuck. Uh, no, I'm gonna get a fucking a U-Haul or a dump truck or something. We're gonna do something with that fucking trash out there. You should. Um, is it really that expensive to just call it dumps? Because that's what I used to do in my I life. don't know. If I call it a dump... They just do it for free, I'm pretty sure. Really? If you call a dump guy from the city to come over here, it's not free. They, it's, it's, not like, it's like $200, dollars, isn't it? No, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. How much is... Chad, how much is it to call a dump truck over to your house to pick up a bunch of trash? A bunch of, like, cardboard boxes, garbage bags, they shit like that. my dad when we did it. Huh. Okay, I'll call the city and I'll see what, uh... What we can do. You never know. Some people are saying 75. Some people are saying free. Do uh, TBA is a stream I'll check it. The fuck this is a CB type relationship. You. Just yeah. get Cass. We all know you want to. I, I don't think Cass would be a loyal. I'm, I'm happy with Kim. And I don't think Cass would be a lo loyal. I think she would uh, leave me if I wasn't a streamer anymore or something. I don't know. I, I, I mean, no offense to, to Cassandra. I like her. I think she's a cool girl, but I don't think she's that loyal. Um, really? They just do it for free? Let me see. Los Angeles. Dump truck service. I mean, do you guys think Cassandra would be a good girlfriend? for? I mean, I, I don't think so. And I'm very happy with my current one. Like, when we broke up for that one day, I was very sad. That's, I was not happy, dude. I was embarrassed. I was sad. I was like, wow, all this fucking hard work and effort we put into something for nothing, but thank God we compromised it. Kick Chef Boy, aka Pasta Andy. Okay. Um, you should keep them around if they don't win. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to just have a bunch of people living in this house. 
I want people living in this house who are, you know, that have a purpose. Okay, I'll Boyard, do the dump truck stuff AKA later. I, don't, I mean, I don't think he's a bad butler. If he really mopped the whole place by himself, he, that's really good. He did a good ass fucking job then, which is really nice. Kick the Asians, they're useless. Uh, to be fair, I don't know what. So SSJ likes them and was like, hey, you guys can live in the garage, but I don't know what they want to do. Like, I don't know what the purpose of those Asian kids are, to be honest. Uh, they were supposed to be like our personal trainers and chefs, but they haven't personal trained or cooked anything. So I don't know what their purpose is. And tell you on stream what he found out. Call a recycling center because lots of it is cardboard. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of it is fucking cardboard. Uh, excuse me. Do you know how much it costs to have a dump truck come and pick up all, all the trash outside? Yeah, the, 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 you know, what? What? the dump truck outside to pick up all the trash. Like how much money? Maybe they they my friends. Like, like like mula mula. I know. Dollar the, bill. The, the, the different guy, the the, the little guy. This is the With the guy. mask. Uh huh. What about him? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad. Okay, okay good. I don't know. You know fucking, fuck it, dude. This is why the fucking the bathtub was fucking broken yesterday. <clears throat> Please keep Luchador, Butler, Bell, Nigel. They're all comp they all complement each other perfectly. Plus three eight-hour chefs better than two 12-hour chefs. Yeah, dude, if we have three butlers, some they're gonna get lazy. They're gonna run out of shit to do. And uh, they, if you have to split the TTS three ways, I don't think that's good. Like, I don't think they're going to uh, like doing that. You know what I mean? Because they're not gonna make that much money. So I have no idea. <laughs> And I was trying to fucking just fire make on RuneScape, so I don't want to stream RuneScape because people, like, I'm trying to fire make. They fucking make fires in front of me, dude, and fucking piss me off, dude. That's all, that's all people do on RuneScape, so it's just annoying. They're casing the house. No, they're not fucking, they're fucking plumbers, dude. What do you mean? It's good. Um, so I have no idea. All right, let's go on Discord. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on in here. I'll take some uh, some calls here, or not calls, but like uh, just go in Discord. I'll go inside the dating room. Just come in, talk to me about stuff that need to be addressed. If you have anything to say that you think needs to be addressed. Hello. What's up, dude? So, listen here, Ice. I only dropped $200 to get the skeezery name out there. Trying to get my song memed. What the fuck is this? Trying to get your song memed? These bitches come around town asking. Skeezery, where you get all this swag? I bring the bitch back to my place. Next thing you know, okay. she is naked. I it can't get memed, dude, if it's not funny. I whip out the cack. Find me on the street, whipping my cack out. Never mind. Don't really know it's okay. Hey, you I stole whip. it from XXX, dude. This song is so bad. It's not even a good meme. It's just bad. What's up, dude? Okay. Axiom. Hey, Pokimane, do you need a moderator for your server? Axiom, why, why the fuck were you trying to white knight my fucking girlfriend? I saw what you were saying yesterday, saying that you want to fucking have her for the rest of your life and you're in love with her. Are you really what? trying to get that ban? Hey, Pokimane. Listen, this isn't Pokimane, okay? I am you, Josh. Do you ever need a moderator here? I can do that too. I made a voice. Not, hopefully, I don't sound stupid. Axiom, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? What the fuck, Pokimane? Thanks for the input. I'll quit. Rip. Uh, I mean, that was not a good song, dude, from the five seconds I heard about it. I mean, I, I don't think it's bad. No, I do. I think it's bad, but. Uh, 
I don't know, dude. That song is too slow paced. Get some higher the tempo. What's up, T. Kella? Do you, is there anything that you think needs to be addressed? Uh, are you going to be doing a PC stream? So I'm doing a stream uh, here until I leave at 5. And then when we come back, I'm probably going to be a little drunk. And well, maybe I'll like drink with Blade a little bit. I think he's on a cleanse. But I don't know. We're going to eliminate a butler when I get back. All I want to say is uh, bring him Brandon back. TGD in Okay, thank you very much, dude. That's Oh, hey, what's up, Ice? Hello. Is there anything that you would like hey. to address? Yes. Um, currently, uh, there's a restream, and uh, someone's fucking scamming you, buddy. What do hey. you mean? I wanted to, I don't know, some, some like, you know, little angry bitch is like restreaming your shit so i just I wanted mean, to let you know all the time doesn't so it? you like go hey just go take it down dude hey fuck it dude hey. i mean i'll take all those motherfuckers down to be honest so i'm not too worried about it they get down pretty quickly hey imagine restreaming hey, a fucking regular stream dude hey hey imagine hey okay goodbye thank you dude Hello there, BTA. Is there anything hey, that you would like to address? Hey, BTA Hello? Yo, dude. Is there anything that you would like to address, Rack? Yes, dude. Stream more RuneScape and bring back the Reddit. Well, I can't stream RuneScape because I can't do anything. It's people fucking stream snipe me on the game. Put your private me... off, bro. What? People will find my world. It takes one person to find my world and, f and fuck with me, dude. I'm trying to do fire make, and I can't even do that. Yeah. Dude, it's fucking insane talking to you. I mean, is that all you needed to say? Uh, Yeah, have a good night, dude. See you guys in chat. Okay, thank you, dude. See you later. Hello there. Hello. Mr. Ice Poseidon. Is there anything you would like to address? I just would like to say that you're doing good and you should ban the Discord too. Why the fuck would just I do that? This shit. Why would I do that for? Because it's toxic. It's racist. The race is there. Uh, no, the Discord is not that toxic. Thank you, Troy. I appreciate it. Discord is just funny. There's no really toxic things on there. I mean, there are, but it's just funny. Funny toxic, not shitty toxic. I don't know. Like, when I'm here, I'm like, I'm, all, I'm always hearing the, the N-word, <laughs> the racist shit. Well, I mean, do you go in the voice chats? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me go into the, the main voice chat. Let's see how many N-word there really is. Because I don't really think there's... I don't think it's it racist. Like, okay. I don't really think it's that racist, dude. I think you're nuts. <laughs> okay, this is why I don't. Christ. This is why I don't go in there. Maybe you're right. CX in the chat. I mean, I didn't hear the N word. I just heard a lot of fucking noise, which is just as bad, though. What's up, dude? How you doing, bro? Shit, sure, what's up? Oh God! Hello. Uh, you, dude, are you the same motherfucker in the clan chat? Uh, yeah, but I wasn't one of the toxic ones. I was just the one that was chilling. I was it, trying to distract them. Dude, I know exactly who you are in the in the fucking clan chat on RuneScape, dude. And you're fucking toxic as shit. You're saying like the N word and then lol. No, no, I never say that. I would never say that. Okay, Petruti, what, what can what what is is there anything you would like to address? Yeah, I just think um, maybe for like the final final butler off and there's only like three left, I think you should get everyone to maybe like write down a piece of paper who they want to vote for in the house and then have the stream like count as a vote. And then so it's like survivor style and then everybody can reveal and see who the winners are. Well, that's basically what I'm doing. Everyone in the house and in the chat will vote on who the fuck's getting kicked yeah, out. And then they'll what be I'm saying is you should like write it down on a piece of paper so that nobody's influenced by each other. And then everyone just reveals it. Oh, you mean tell them individually and then I'll reveal it. 
Yeah, like like Blade would write down a piece of paper. I vote for Nigel. Oh, that's a good idea, example. actually. Thank you, Draenor. I appreciate. Oh, what's up, Draenor? Long time no see. Um, that's actually a good fucking idea. I was going to just bring everyone in, be like, who do you like? Who do you like? Yes, no, yes, no. But that's a better idea. Let's keep it all completely anonymous. Exactly. You're a smart. Yeah, hey, that's dude. all I had to say. Thanks so much. Have a good one, Mr. G. All right, thank you, dude. That was really nice, actually. No, no, no. Fuck off, Axiom. What? No. No, dude. No monkeys allowed in this Discord chat room hey, yo. channel. Like actual real, like monkey, like the animal. Yo. Uh, okay. Right, Who's your favorite on. butler? In the chat. Um, I think Nigel and the, and the, the cornbread one. Well, what's your thoughts on the, uh, the guy with the mask? I think he's funny, but I don't think he's a great butler. I don't think he knows how to butler, but he's definitely funny. Ah, oh, okay. Why? What do you think? I, I like that guy. He's good content. I mean, he is funny. I definitely want him on the streams more often, but maybe not as a butler. Maybe as, like, uh, just a funny-ass dude. Yeah, yeah, he should be around the house. He's funny. But uh, hold on. I got to see what Andy wants. Or he wants to chat, so let's fucking chat. Yo, what's up, Andy? Chat, how long is it going to take to get from 33 fire making to 50? I have no fucking clue. I think this shit's going to take uh, probably like an hour and a half. Hopefully not too much. I'm going to do winter tot. Yo. Yo, what's up, Andy? How you doing? What up, dude? What do you like to... What would you like to address here? I would like to address... It's kind of more of an idea than addressing a problem. But... Okay. You know, people have been calling you out for, uh, they think you have a little bit of an ego, right? Yes. I mean, I guess. Hello? I don't know. Fuck it. I guess I do. Shit. <laughs> okay. So, when the first butler gets kicked off, you do a full stream where you're the new butler. It's just only one stream only. You have to serve everybody in the house, and you have to let all the other butlers kind of control you for the day as a stream to break you down to size. Man, dude, fucking, they're just going to make me do fucking dumb shit. Well, there's obviously a limit. They don't do every single thing you tell them to, but to, to show some humility and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a humbleness, you have to fill they're the shoes. They're going to kill me, Andy. They're, they've wanted day. this for years. Bro, listen. There's plenty of screams where you torment people and you control people. This would be a really big win. You know what, Andy? I'll do it. And you know what? I'm going to show yes. these motherfuckers how to actually be a real butler. I could be the yes. best. Bro, I could be a better butler than any of these motherfuckers. We had 50 okay, people show, show up to that event. Boss, we were talking you know about what? how shit these people were. I could actually be a good fucking butler. Okay, okay, but listen, but with the people in the house, they tell you to do something, you got to do it. You have to bow oh, down I, to them. I, I know how to be a butler. I'm a good motherfucking butler, homie. Okay, well, I think it's a good idea. I'm glad you're going to do it. You know what? Starting tomorrow, I'll do a. Uh, I'll do the whole day where we're butlers. The whole day as a butler. Okay. All right, deal. First advice of mine you've ever listened to. <laughs> By what? <laughs> what do you say? I said, I said, first advice of mine you've ever listened to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I don't know. I do listen to your advice, Andy. What do you mean? I, we went the sushi. I took your advice on that. It was good. I was like, yo, that's, that's some good not sushi. Real fucking, that's not real advice. But, dude, I, I'm happy that you're going to do it. I think it's a really good idea. And it'll be a good, it'll be a good scream to see you squirm a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, hopefully. Right. Well, I mean, I think uh, people are just going to make me do the craziest shit, but I'm okay with that. You know what? The butlers can have a break tomorrow. After the first elimination, I'll be the butler for them and everyone else, and I'm probably going to just cry. And the butler, but the butlers are kind of like your boss because you're, you're the new guy in town, and they're threatened by you. I mean, we'll see, though. I, I can right. show these guys how to be a real one. Thank you, Andy. All right, cool, cool. Peace. Yo, That's ice. a good idea. What's up, hey. to do not listen to Andy's shit idea. That's a good idea. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a very good idea. Escape. Play RuneScape. Nobody cares about these fucking butlers. Yeah, but the runes, he can play RuneScape at like 2 in the morning. The butler, uh, him as a butler idea, 
is a good Nobody idea. Nobody cares fuck. about butlers, man. Just fucking hire a maid, mate. Why are you talking like a little bitch? Because my mum's sleeping, you <laughs> fucking bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the, but, the butlers, the butlers need, we need a winner, Greg. I want a real butler. Ice. And I'll put myself Ice. in that. If All you right, you know what? RuneScape. Tomorrow we're doing a RuneScape stream. We're not going to do if Andy's great idea. Quest, Let's fuck it, dude. Like a normal... You Let chat quest. decide. Do a straw fuck poll. It, I bet I you my I won't be a butler. Is. I won't be a slave tomorrow. I'll just play RuneScape and we'll cut trees and do winter play talk. GTA. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Play Thank GTA fucking God. That, thank fucking God. Bitch. I didn't want to be a slave for a day. Thank fuck. Thank you, Greg. Nope. You're not getting out that easily, bro. Oh, dude. But we he can't says wait nobody to wants you me to do it. Nobody up. cares about oh. butler shit. Shut the fuck up and let me speak. Listen. We don't care about you mopping a fucking floor, okay? Play a game like GTA. You and Andy are both fucking normies. Go eat sushi, <laughs> you fucking bitch. I'm a normie. You play Apex Legends for 10 hours in a row, you cuck. You play on the Xbox. <laughs> no, I, I mean, don't, bitch. What is a normie nowadays, anyways? <laughs> what is the Wait. definition of normie? It could be anything, to be honest. If you're not autistic, it's normie. How the fuck do people find my goddamn worlds, dude? This is why I don't <laughs> fucking stream this goddamn game because people, I'm trying to, like, we're, I'm trying to be efficient in the game. Motherfuckers keep cutting my trees down and shit. Like, I'm All right, last Iron thing Man. I'm going to say is this. If, you don't, if you don't do the butler idea, I'm going to accept the head mod role at I side and 2 Reddit. All right, peace. No, I, I definitely uh, would not want that. Okay. Um, no, I'm going to do the butler thing tomorrow. I'll keep my suit. I rented it for a day. I'll rent it for tomorrow, too. We'll do the butler thing. It'll be good. I like that idea. All right, let's uh, get back to the call channel. One second. What's going on, B-Daddy? Mate, this is the ultimate Iron Man you've been skipping streams for. Dude, your stats are complete trash. What the hell have you been doing? Banks, Daddy. What's going on, Dude, I've man? been construction. Dude, getting 30 construction took like half the day. It took forever. Uh, what's up, dude? Is there anything you would like to address? Bro, all I gotta say is, I think, um, what's his name? The, the black guy. What's his name? Bell. Bell. Uh, Loki, he's pretty ripped. I think he could get you back into the lean ice mode. Um... And I think you just need to get back in shape, you know, on your grind again. I mean, Bell is a nice dude. He is, uh, he, listen, Hyphonics is in shape. Sophia's in shape. I don't fucking work out with them either. I'm just a lazy fuck. Like, I, I want to be Lean Eyes 44, but dude, it's so, I'm not motivated to do the workouts because they're hard. Oh. And I, I want to throw up Lean when I lift something for five minutes. I can't get past that MCD throw up I'm feeling. In Discord, pull me and hold me. I'm in scuffed room. All right, that's all I had to say, man. CX in the chat. Thank you, B-Daddy. I appreciate that, homie. What's up, Sai? Yo, what's up, dude? I'm just chilling, bro. Oh, what, what, do you, like, what would you like yo, to address? I want you to do a duo stream with bathrobe underscore Dwayne, okay? <laughs> dude, I actually have before. <laughs> do it again, I'm pretty dude. sure he came, over for my, uh, he came over to my house before, so I'm pretty sure Greek we've, smells like burnt we've done that. Greek smells like also, burnt can you tell curry. SSJ to answer his Twitter DMs? Uh, I don't think he looks at his Twitter DMs. Oh, I mean, you, you, you can I DM me. You have, what do you have to say? You can always DM me. Uh, well, it was about the behind the scenes editor thing. I submitted like videos. He liked them, and uh, he followed me and shit. So. Okay, then just DM me, and then we'll talk about it. All right. Yeah. Chat, how the fuck are all these people finding what world I'm in? I don't understand because, like, I'm hiding this shit. Post stickball in. Dude, stop, stop, stop. No fucking. Get the fuck out of here with that. By the way, chat, if. Uh, I was going to say something. Um, if you DM me on Twitter, my DMs are open. I can't respond to everybody because there's way too many motherfucking ass people that DM me, but I definitely try to go and read through all of them. When I poop. I pee too. Kick Asian rubies. Hi, Andy. Yeah, the Asians, I don't know what's up with them. If, I, if, I, if we can't see what, the, what worth they have, then uh, I don't know what they're going to end up doing. Probably leaving. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what's up, Bull? Okay, thank you. Don't come in the room if you're not going to talk. 
Oh, God. What's up, Ice? How what you do, doing? What the fuck do you want, Soapy? What's up, dude? Why, why'd you fucking close the Reddit? I called it two weeks ago. You were going to do it. Yeah, dude. I said I was going to do it if they didn't. If they didn't and did Kimberly know, tell you to better. close the Reddit, dude? Come on. What's that? It can't, did Kimberly fucking tell you to close the Reddit? No, but I was very disappointed in the Reddit that everyone around me was scared to be around the Reddit. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Nobody's I mean, scared of self Don't fucking look at the Reddit then. It's not like Reddit's fucking popping up wherever they go. They purposely go on r slash Ice Poseidon and then look at it. Why the fuck? Why do they have to look at it? I mean, that's true. It's kind of like having a... It's like having a loaded gun laying on your kitchen counter when you have kids. Kids are going to be curious, and they're they going to touch the loaded gun. But So as a parent, you should put the loaded Dude, gun somewhere no where the kids can't reach size. it. You're, That's you're the turning same into, thing. I put, you're turning into the normie SJW that you said you would never turn into. And no, I'm still the same person. I just don't want my friends reading fucking Reddit, dude. <laughs> Okay, then why? What do you mean, dude? There's no hate post when you stream. I don't know how many times we have to fucking tell you. When you leave fucking LA, there's all positive posts. There's never hate posts. There's never a single hate post. Last time you left LA, you left the United States. No, no hate post. There was nobody talking shit about any of your friends. But right when you sit there and you literally sit beside your friends and you sit there 30 days, no streams, all that kind of shit, it pisses us off. And that's why we post hate threads. Yeah, when they cause I'm, you to turn I'm, your streams listen, off, that's it, what... If I got stuck in a, in a mental rabbit hole and I'm not feeling great, uh, I don't want to Okay, live I, what like, caused you to be in that mental rabbit hole? Like, what's, what's the true reason? Uh, what you mean, dude? Fucking, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of variables. And what, you smoking weed 24-7 and helping, being, dude. like, depressed? Dude, that is, if that's I the reason you need to get smacked I don't smoke weed that often, dude. What are you saying? Uh, Ice, you're constantly high. You got one of the butlers high, What dude. are you saying? I didn't even get high yesterday. What do you mean? All right, bro. Like you need to, you need to chill out. Like if if you actually are depressed, go get some actual help instead Sophie, of blocking I can't Reddit. Just go out. And that's do, just taking the I, hate and like putting it, locking it down. Dude, that's never gonna leave, bro. That's always gonna come back when you do r slash scuffed. That's still gonna be there. Like I don't know why you're trying to. You're literally trying to not see your community, and it's 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 gonna fire No, that's not true. I'm always on the Discord. The thing is, what the fuck, I, the Discord, dude? I, They're a bunch of faggots. Dude, you're on Discord. Listen, Discord's got nice. Yeah, people. just to talk to you and then Discord I'll leave. They're a bunch of faggots. faggots. Nice people, dude. Let me tell you something. What do you mean, nice Soapy. people? All Let the people from Reddit came Soapy. over to fucking Discord because there's no Reddit left. The only let, Reddit let, is r slash ice Poseidon two or iPhonix. That's let, it. Let me tell you something, Soapy. Discord's a bunch of yes men that you can block and me, do everything because no no post is gonna be top. That's not you're gonna, true. You're gonna do this little. Honestly, oh, if we ever did a Reddit again. Reddit is meant for clips and memes. It's not meant for criticisms with like fucking opinions and like fake fucking bullshit. Like a photo. There's no of fake shit, dude. You get uh, mad when they call you out on your lies. That's it. Dude, you get mad when you some, get exposed. When dude, it's fake shit, yeah, you laugh at it. Let me tell but you when something, you get exposed, Sophie. you get mad, dude. Last me, time you tried to fight me. Ice, I don't know what's wrong with you. you. I don't know why you're Sophie. trying to fight one of your guys that have been here for three years. Let me tell you something. So you're the one who offered it, by the way. Let me tell you something, Sophie. No, you did, bro. I did not like living like that if i didn't stream for a day or if i felt like bad and then i had to deal with that i just didn't want to deal with it it's as simple as that okay ice let me let me tell you something you can do see what you're doing today you're going to be streaming three to five and then you're streaming again why uh -huh. didn't you do that from the get-go when reddit told you a year and a half ago to do that like i, I, I don't I understand what stream you in do one before. sitting i prefer streaming one sitting of course what do you mean what do you mean one sitting, dude? You, this is your streams. Past 20 streams have been you getting ready to go eat something, getting in a limo, and just doing some bullshit, and then coming back, getting kicked out of the restaurant, coming back. And, why, right. I mean, and then sucks. you did this why one public audition stream that nobody cared about. It was just all fake. I mean, and then you got exposed for doing like, view blocks of that, like too. Anything. Okay, so what would you want me to do, Soapy? It sounds like anything I do, you just don't like. And I that was just another issue that I have okay, listen, Reddit. Let me tell Everything you one thing. You know, you know how you just said you wanted to go to Japan and I didn't with like Mexico? that because, motherfucker, listen. if I'm having fun, that's all that matters. What the fuck? Ice, ice, ice. You just said you're not having fun. You're having this little rut that you can't get out of. But listen, no, you know I how was. you just I'm said you wanted to go to Japan now. with Bro, Andy? When I, when I fucking privated that Reddit, I felt so much better about myself. I felt so much more Why? Confident. Why does that make you feel better about yourself? So you can't get exposed anymore? That's that's uh, literally, that's the only reason you blocked no, it. No, because I didn't have to deal with people constantly tearing me down. What do you mean? They're not tearing you down if you don't tear yourself down, bro. You tear yourself bro, down and then people call you out on it. That is not true. Ice, listen, bro, that's freak not true at listen. all. Dude, Let me tell you Sophie, something, bro. Let me tell you something. You know how you just said Andy is taking. You know how you said you're gonna go to Japan with Andy, right? Uh -huh. That would be. That's gonna. That's literally gonna revive your career. That would be the sole reason your career comes back. 
It's at, you don't bring anybody from the house, bro. If I see SSJ in fucking Japan, I'm throwing a fucking riot, bro. I'm coming straight to fucking dude, LA. I'll I don't want to see SSJ next to me on the Japan. plane, dude. Okay, bro, listen. Only you and Andy, Between maybe, him and maybe Cassandra, bro. To come. That's about it. What? I'm going to sit on the plane next to SSJ on my left. Has Cassandra on my right. In the car. I, all we want you to do is just sit there. No, not sit there. Just go out, be yourself, do the shit that you used to do. Remember the remember how you first met Ge Geisha, whatever Geisha, whatever the fuck your name is. Remember when you no, first fucking met her? People thought that she was scripted. Bro, I know they thought that was scripted, but that was good shit. SSJ was never in the streams back but in the day. Now he's just constantly walking around being a little, why, little bitch. That's, that's, that's a lot of the reason why I didn't like the fucking Reddit, dude. Fucking everything scripted. Nothing I do is good enough. I, my confidence was at all time They're still low. saying that, though, bro. They're still saying that. Yeah, it was just another way not, of them to... At least it's not on Reddit, dude. I don't really care if people say it I see know the scripted shit was a fucking meme. You even know that, dude. Come what on. What was? You knew that you know every whenever somebody said scripted, it was a meme. Nobody actually believes no, they were sitting there. There were SSJ's some people that took everything. shit seriously, bro. Yeah, probably like one percent of the fucking community. I don't know, bro. There's everything. Listen, my community, the people used to be about trolling. People on the Reddit weren't trolling anymore. People actually believed a lot of the bullshit I would say. I'm a fucking troll. If I say some bullshit, I'm trolling. People instead will be like, this guy's a, a serial liar. Like, dude, motherfucker, it's okay, a troll. I, I'm let a me tell you why troll. there was so much hate in the past month. You stream three days in the past fucking month. Yes. Greek, you, you complain, co constantly say Greek doesn't stream, Greek doesn't do... The motherfucker's been streaming almost every single day, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong like with you. There's break. nothing hard with turning on the camera and just talking what you're doing today. That would cause all the hate to stop. Everything would stop. I mean, but you don't like do that. You just sit there break, and you do sure. three-hour conversations with Kimberly, Kimberly and you decide not to stream. Just go out, be yourself. You can have Kimberly in the house. That's fine. Just don't let them affect your streams. Tell SSJ to go get a fucking apartment and stop affecting the streams. You you, you purpose you know what the fuck he was doing at fucking Mexican Andy. Mexican Andy, yeah, dude, that guy was it. with you from the get-go. That guy was there from the fucking bottom, dude, from the gutter. And then you're yeah, trying to no, kick him out of your house, tell, trying to tell him to say sorry. Why the fuck should he say sorry, dude? Fuck SSJ. Why, why the fuck should he say sorry? It's not even his fucking house. And why did you give SSJ 50% of the company, bro? Don't do that kind of stupid shit anymore. Don't give people fucking control of your what fucking are you talking company. about? Because I know that that's you exactly know what you know that's saying. exactly what you did, Paul. That's exactly what you're fucking what doing. You, you gave him control, he and he's got some shit on you. He's got some shit on you. That's about it. So he doesn't have fifty percent of anything, dude. And Mexican Andy, Paul, uh, just, you know, just they both, be yourself, they, dude. They both just apologize be yourself. To each go out to Japan. Go out to Canada. Do all that kind of shit, because that's going to revive your so, fucking career. So These Pete, view bots ain't like, going to revive your career, dude. It sounds like you care a lot more about this shit than I do. Yeah, I think I care about your career more than you fucking do, and that's showing. Oh, of course I care about my career. What do you mean? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't, Paul. Because if you, you did, you would be streaming every single day, like Soda Poppin'. You would, you would be streaming every fucking day. You can make this money. I don't know why you say SSJ is helping you all save some money. Bro, rent rent isn't anything let if me, you actually get a you, goddamn... Let me, let me tell you something, Soapy. Soda Poppin, Greek, all those guys, they've taken a lot of time off too. They've taken a lot of days off. I think Soda Poppin took a month off at a time. Greek take, has taken three months off at a time. It's just what streamers do sometimes when they get in a fucking rut. Sometimes you just feel like shit. You feel sad, depressed, whatever the fuck. You just don't want to do it. Um... All I have to say, Soapy, is if you're not trolling, you are, uh, I don't know, bro. You're just autistic as fuck. That's all I have to hey, say. Listen, if you, if you take Soda Pop and streams, say he streams like fucking 250 days out of the year. You stream probably like fucking 25 days to 30 days a year nowadays. Yeah, if you go with the it's same schedule like that you're that. fucking going with. It's always been like that. So it's the expectation should already be there. Then you should just say that, fuck it. I'm only streaming two days a month. And don't like promise these fake promises. That's all you do is well, promise I mean, fake promises. Hey, I'm streaming early right now, like I said. So, okay, well, it's one day. We'll see. You also said that you're going to stream constantly for a week before the Butler stream, and that never happened. Yeah, because I had to, I had to, you know, some other stuff going on that was making me feel like shit. What? What? What, what made you feel like shit, dude? Nothing. Uh, well, I think that was the week that me and my girlfriend were just like having to make, to make a compromise on stuff. And uh, you know, I have other stuff going on. I don't think Compromise. You understand. I have a lot of weight on my shoulders, Soapy. I'm, I got a whole fucking business that we're trying to run here. I think you need to go see a therapist, then, dude. I don't know what you're doing. Debbie, like, I'm making all this stress on. Is this. <laughs> That's a girlfriend. No, I'm not just a streamer, Soapy. I also have a business that I'm running. Okay, but bro, to, for that business to stay running, you need to make money, which you're fucking not doing. 
You're not streaming. I mean, I agree. How the fuck is a business going to keep running? I mean, you keep saying that. Oh, everybody on the here, CX network is making streaming. money. I mean, everyone. Where are you this, making money? From? Everyone on the network's doing a pretty good job. So I mean, I'm not really that. Uh, fret by Dude, it. The, everybody else is pulling like 3k viewers. I don't know what you mean doing well. Let me tell you. Uh, and so you're having. I, I you're, you're, you're forced to stream stream bot, uh, fucking view bot. Okay, now you're just being. Reported. You know it's true, Paul. You got okay, exposed. Now, now you're just being I'm not making a fake Okay, shit. yeah, view bot. Let me tell you something, Soapy. There's a lot of streamers out there. Um, they pull 100 viewers for years. I don't think you understand the value of 3,000 viewers. Um, 3,000 viewers monetarily can make you easily 100 plus K a month. I don't think you understand the value because you've never been a streamer. Or you've never tried to work hard at anything except go on Discord and troll. But uh, 3K viewers is a very large amount of viewers. Run. Okay, Paul, you know, you know, clearly if you fucking kicked them out of the network, they would be getting 300 viewers. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but about. that's, that's irrelevant, dude. If they're in the network, they're pulling more viewers. That's all that really matters at that current point. So, okay. If they're pulling viewers, they're pulling viewers, but 90% of the time, nobody's fucking streaming. What you mean? There's always Why somebody do I streaming. Pay for this subscription? No, dude. Your content has been All right, anyways, I, you, you need to go back to that fortune teller, provide. whatever the fuck your name is. You need to go see CX. what the fuck's Thank going you. on, because this shit's fucked. CX I'll talk to you later, dude. See ya. Okay. GGX, boy. Very, CX. Very, 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 str very strong opinion, Sophie. Very strong opinion, but he's half the stuff. Some of the stuff he said is just retarded. Oh, yeah, view body. Yeah, How's I know, right? Brother? Yeah, what's up, homie? Nothing much. Dude, if my I guy. If it's not a, you it's not a view by Soapy. Bro? It's not a view by Soapy. It's literally your mom and her fucking friends and your goddamn brother watching. Okay? There's a huge family because your yeah, mom's you. a fucking. She gets out there, dude. Yeah, you tell him, bro. Yeah, he's a fuck. Fuck tell that guy. Up. I don't like Soapy. Yeah. He's a bitch. Yeah, In fuck fact, him, I'm changing dude. his name on Discord from Soapy to bitch ass. Oh, yeah, you got it, bro. So, is there anything so, you would like to address today? So. Okay, when are you getting Sam back? To the network. When are you gonna get back with him? I don't know. I don't really listen to him. Stop really making any, uh, excuses, idiot. Any purpose to right now? Actually, listen to him. Stop no. making excuses, idiot. Uh, the moment he said I, I view bought it, I, he lost all credibility. Oh, he said you view bought it. Oh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Dude, he, he lost all credibility at that point. Uh, and he gonna like start streaming with Jesse Wellens or whatever? Yeah, Starting Sam's. Uh, he's, 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 he's not on my mind. He's not on my. It's not all about you. He's not on my mind right that. now. I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, I have know. to work nine so, hours a day and can't yeah, complain dude. to my boss. Fucking, the Reddit is all I have. Lead, bro. You're not honest anymore. Is he content? You sold is he one out. of your content I takers? hate you. Hold on, let me mute you for a sec. Um, that's one of the reasons why I kept the Reddit open for so long. Listen, I'm sorry that you're in a wheelchair and, you know, the Reddit was all you had. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am fucking sorry. But... Like, bro, I have to look out for myself, too. And this shit was fucking me up mentally uh, and making, you know, all my friends feel a certain kind of way emotionally. So, like, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, I dealt, you know, we, we had it open and I dealt with a lot of shit for a very long time. But at, at a certain point, I just had to be like, all right, um, I can't take this anymore. This is my life. I'm going to take control of my life. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. All right. What were you saying? Well, um, Ice, I think you need to look at your streaming career as more of a dedicated job, like Paul, everyone is saying. Blade is drinking it's, himself it's to death, beginning. and everyone at the streamer you know house I mean? is contributing Brother? to his demise. Won't look good as sponsors in the public when he necks from alcohol. Uh, Get him a doctor. I mean, I've, I've talked to Blade because I, I don't want him getting, I don't want him dying, you know, obviously. That would suck. Yeah, I mean, I look at streaming as a long-term job. It's uh, it's actually more than just that. It's you know, streaming is like a, a tree that branches out to a lot of other things as well. Yes, sure. Like sure. you can branch out to anything else. Like if I, you know, if I'm not a streamer anymore, I could probably become a fucking marketing major, like a marketing person or something. You know what I mean? Like a, I can work for like Coca-Cola and make commercials for them because I think I'm pretty good at marketing. Uh, you, you and think even if you I'm could really not, get a I can just job pretend, the, I can just pretend you I can get a job with a company like that with your reputation. I don't know. Probably I think there's more that. good stuff about me on the internet than bad stuff. Um, and I think, you know, if I say I was this fucking influencer, YouTuber, whatever that had, you know, this large community, I think that's a pretty good thing to put on your application for a marketing major. And if oh, that's so maybe going over to the other side, 
Charlie. I don't know. Getting you getting a job busy. right now. I don't know. It'd be hard for you besides streaming, but you you've made it. You've you you're good. Well, when you type in Paul Danino, nothing bad pops up, but when you type in Ice Poseidon, only only good stuff fucking, really pops up. And same with Paul Danino, only else. really good stuff pop up. Like it's not you'd have to really go Ice deep Poseidon. into it. And racism. I mean, if they're gonna, they're gonna go way deep. That's. I mean, I don't think they're gonna go that deep. They might be interested and check like YouTube channel out and this and that, but I don't think they're gonna go that deep. They're not gonna look at fucking Reddit's and all this other shit. You oh, made they the will. right move. Anyway, uh, it was good Get talking to you, the brother. Uh, you should play a better game. Forward. Go play Escape from Tarkov. All Tarkov's. I have to say is uh, work on your health. Out. See you, brother. Jason. Sorry, what'd you say? Okay, he fucking left. Hey, Hello. what's up, dude? Hey, Harvest, how you doing? Would you, uh, do you have anything you'd like to address? Huh? Is there anything that oh, you'd yeah. like to address? Um, I'm just saying, so far, I mean, I think you're you're coming out of a rut. Uh, I Bar think you've been in a rut lately. In March 2017 was the funniest stream. I mean, I can do that again, Juden. Sorry, what were you saying? I'm coming out of a rut. Yeah, I think you were in a rut while you were, you know, moving into the house and everything. I think things are slowly starting to get better, you know, with the whole Butler streaming. You know, I've been enjoying the content lately. But I think it's obvious to see that when you're not happy, the stream is not good at that's all. That's what I'm saying. And that's, that's, the, that's what it ultimately comes down to. I Exactly. You know, you could even view in the past, the past VODs and stuff and, uh, you know, the whole history and everything. Like, when you're not doing good... The stream's not doing good, and then everybody's like, you know, against you. But you know, the same people that you hear like Soapy and stuff, they're still fans of you. Like they still love your content. That's why they're still here. They're not liking the content you're putting out now, but they know it's going to get better, and that's why they're sticking. They're sticking around. Actually, this guy has this guy said something in the chat. I want your opinion on it. This guy says your life greater than thousands of lives, right, Paul? I think he's implying that. Uh, I shouldn't have like done, like closed the Reddit down, for example, because I didn't like it when thousands of people did like it. Well, here's the thing: I I like the Reddit, but you know, if closing down the Reddit is what it's going to take for you to start streaming again, then so be it. Because I don't think it's well, going to be a permanent exactly, thing. That's not, let's not and, put it like that. That's not a good way to put it. I think we should put it more like: if I get into a better mindset, better headspace, that would that would mm -hmm. be a better way to put it. Because. Just recently, you know, I, I was watching the old podcast you did with, uh, I forget his name. It was uh, the guy that was balding and shit. Uh, what's his name? Wreckful? Yeah, I was watching the podcast you did there. And you were talking about the Reddit in that podcast, how, you know, how much good it's done to you. You know, how the whole community's there. Those same people are, are still there. They're just not happy at the moment. You know, just because it seems like all your fans right now are against you doesn't mean that they're always going to be against you. Those fans that are against you right now are the same fans that supported you and got you where you are now. I mean, and, the, the you know, everything's the Discord's fuck, pretty fuck nice. I'm a, Discord's pretty nice. Discord is nice. That's where I, I spent most of my time. But I did like the Reddit, and you're right. It was being, uh, you know, a little toxic. But, I mean, what they're saying wasn't, you know, false or anything. SSJ has been a real fucking dick lately. And I think I the whole agree. shit with Mexican SS Andy has really tipped the scales. Now I think he's ever going to be right with the stream. SSJ or anything. has been a was a dick, has been a dick lately. I understand, um, but you know the Reddit had its negative side too. My girlfriend's not a fucking leech, you know, like they like to say that mm -hmm. every fucking girl. Um, some of the friends and people that I've brought in my life, I've personally enjoyed. Before I had that thing with Sam, I thought Sam was a really really good friend to me, and you know they hated his ass. But so it's like exactly. And, you know, there's negatives. To and you have to remember, even though there's a lot of hate going towards you, you know, still understand that we only see one part of your life. We don't really know you off stream or anything like that. Like, you know, it may seem like the, every the whole community is against you now, but I guarantee you, once you start getting consistent again, and the whole streamer house, whatever plan you have for that, actually starts to come into, you know, existence and everything. The whole community is going to start going back on your side. And I can notice lately that it's starting to go that way since, you know, you're actually moved into the house. Well, I thought Everything's yesterday's stream went starting. pretty well. I thought the okay. Butler stream yesterday was good. I don't know. I thought that shit went well. No, I thought it was good. And that's the thing. When you plan shit like this, the whole Butler, you know, stream and everything, people are happy. You know, the streams when you weren't streaming for a while and then when you would stream, you only sit on the computer for like an hour and then get off stream. You know, the... Obviously, the community doesn't like that. I mean, just look at it as if you were a fan of watching somebody. You're involved with this community, and then all of a sudden, you're 
not getting content at all. You're not really sure about the future. You know, you have this new mansion that you're hyping up for a while. And then, you know, just for a couple of weeks after you moved in, it was like there was nothing. So it's like he hyped up all this stuff up and then there was no payoff or anything at all. Well, but, I just, I just you know, even though I'm saying that, I, I still believe that TBH it is going to get good, that you have a plan. Tells you the just, truth you know, and only like people who bow down to you. So he was so right. All you have to do is stream and it's fixed. Yeah, and you know, I've been streaming. Uh, but here's the thing. There's going to be ruts that I get into. And if I can't get out of the goddamn rut uh, because I can't get the fucking reddit out of my face or out of my mind and all my friends can't get the reddit out of their face out of their minds then i can't get out of my rut dude uh you know reddit, have might, you... reddit might come back one day let me just get a better mindset and a better headspace like motherfucker i'm just you don't understand like that the past month i've been awful you know and therapy ain't gonna you know what a therapist would tell me to do the first thing a therapist would have said is is close the fucking reddit that's what they would have said because you know that was literally the a lot of where the my, my, you know, evil thoughts were stemming from. They definitely would, but have you actually thought about, like, talking to a therapist and stuff like that? Like, honestly, like, I think, I think it would help you because, yeah, you have friends. Like, a lot of people that are in, a lot of the people that are in the house are your friends, move, and you think that a lot of people are, like, leeching off you or only using you. But, I mean, like, this uh -huh. is a, a job at its core, you know? The streamer house, yeah, it is a bunch of friends, but, like, people leeching off you and everything like that. They are your friends, but this it's also a job. Like you need like somebody to talk to that's not involved at all with the community. Well, that's, and, like, that, that's you know, what? that's why I like my girlfriend because she's not involved with shit. Yeah. Uh, that's why I like people like it, Kyle and you know, people I hang around that don't fucking stream because they don't really care. Mm -hmm. They'd be my friends if I was a streamer or not. Yeah, I, did, I just think you need to talk to somebody because at least observing from a distance, it kind of, it seems like even though things are getting better, you're still in the mindset that everybody's kind of out to get you. Everybody is, you know. Well, I, uh, I, I mean, it's getting better, but yeah, my uh, my headspace is a little, a little skewed right now. But, you know, it's getting better. It's getting fixed. I just need some time with, you know, good people. And all the people that's, that are currently living in the stream house right now, I would consider good people. Uh, for me, good people for my life, very healthy. You know, there's no fucking burger planets and fucking Salmon Andes around here. It's, you know, it's good shit. It's like there's good people. I feel like. That's the thing, too. The, in like the stream house, there is good I people, but I, I think a lot of us that are fans of you wish people like, you know, SJC were in the house or Mexican Andy. I know you can't control that to a T. You know, they have to do whatever they want, but. Well, Mexican Andy's in the house. Uh, SJC. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know, know why I said he, that. He yeah, might. Yeah. You know, every so often come and stay for a couple of days, but I, I don't know about him moving in because he he has destroyed a lot of shit. Every time we did a closet stream, every time we did whatever, he always makes holes in the walls and like he's destroyed a lot of fucking shit. And there's a fucking ninety thousand mm -hmm. dollar deposit, and that's what I'm scared of. I it's understandable that you're scared, but also as as fans, you know, we it kind of sucks, but we we like you know a shit show pretty much a good shit show is like yeah what but i also don't like go that's, broke that's the thing i kind of in the in the process and that's another thing i want to say it, it does kind of seem like you're trying to branch off from the whole like it, you're, you're trying to become more of a mainstream for normies and stuff like that it why, seems like i, I could be wrong that? that's just from what i'm seeing are you trying with the whole business thing to branch off to no, I'm not. To I'm, just trying, audience. I'm trying to keep the same like crazy fucking shit that goes on. I like the crazy people, I like all that stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But at the same time, if somebody is a potential extreme liability, I have to be careful with them because I don't want, you know, like, okay, since, we, since this is a company and a, since I have a business now, I'm a business owner. Somebody could easily sue me and fucking win. And one lawsuit is all it takes for me to lose everything. Are, do you I, actually I've have waivers sued, for people that enter your house? Like Cause five, that is a real dude. Like, I've been, I've been sued like five times in the past, dude. I have been sued before and I had to pay some people off to not fucking sue me. Like I paid like a, like, okay, here, take this money. You don't sue me. We're good. That's it, Do you actually have, um, do you actually have waivers for people that go into your house and everything? No, no, I should get those. You definitely have to get those. SJ, 
SJC, uh, or, oh no, SSJ, like if he's your manager, he should be on top of that. I, I thought he is your manager. Like he should be on top of that because if you get sued, one, you know, this whole thing could go under. I don't know. I don't know all the legal shit about it, but even just have a sign on the front door by like entering this premises, you consent to whatever the fuck happens. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, I'm, if somebody I'm, could just walk in there, fucking fall or some shit, and then sue you for everything you're worth all this all these years of building everything up can come crashing down in an instant and then it also gives you peace of mind because it doesn't no matter what the fuck happens here you know you're going to be covered you know that's true uh fuck it all right well i appreciate your uh your opinions i uh actually good opinions so thank you very much for that welcome man i'm a big fan i just have one question real quick huh can i get chill in discord please well level are you <laughs> <laughs> all right man i mean you just you gotta level up bro what's that you gotta level up dude all right i got you man it's no biggie have a good night man all right what a nice guy what a hello. what a good guy hello there would you like to address anything uh, hello hello ice poseidon hello there i would like to address that i love everybody in the streamer house Good, good. And I think you should know this, especially you. I've been watching your content for the past three years now, and I genuinely think that you are a great streamer. That's all I have to say. Well, thank you, dude. That makes me feel really good about myself. And oh, so you're a fucking nigger, haha. -ha. Sunday chill gaming stream. Don't. Monday early Yo. stream. He says Tuesday day co off. The color. Wednesday OSRS and song Hello. requests. Thursday day off. Uh, Friday Earl stream. Saturday, big stream. I, I know. I got to get back into my schedules, dude. Um, fuck, fuck me. I know. Um, hi. How are you? No, you said the bathtub tonight. Huh? Good, you? No bathtub tonight? No. Dude, what you mean? Tomorrow. I have What's a date going on with Asian Man? I'm, I'm trying Why to use the bathtub. Why does he never stream anymore? I got rose petals and shit. No, no, please tomorrow. Okay. Because it's because it's gonna leak. No, can he dry? Tomorrow, tonight dry. Tomorrow use it. Ready for. Dry for what? It's like it's got glue on it? Oh, okay. Well, thank you, dude. I, I won't come on it. All right, what's up, Seagull? Yo, so hear me out. Hear me out. So, you know, CX, you got to go out to a sea, rent a, rent a boat, right? Put all the butlers on there fishing for you, you know? You know, do a week stream. Everybody on the boat. <laughs> You, got, you guys got to eat what you catch. Dude, that would CX. be awesome, and I've had that idea. On the sea. No, there's no internet on the sea, dude. But, dude, just, what do you mean? There's no internet in the sea. You no, know, get... We can do it, like, well, a, then, you a know, mile you just offshore. Put the boat right off but the But that's not going to be good. There's yeah, no fish. Exactly. There's no fish, off like, a mile offshore. Yeah, off just shore. anchor down. Yes, there is. People not fish off box all the time. What are you saying? You can't fucking go. You can't park your boat a mile offshore and go fucking harpooning. Why not? Paul, the Reddit was really no, not unique. harpooning. You know, Stop just normal fishing. About yourself and People think about cast us. off of not shores and stuff all the time. You don't even know what you're saying. But instead, you anchored on a boat. You, you guys got to sleep on it Discord for the next week. You're the captain. Open it. Let me see. What is this? Discord is miserable. Open it. Um, the Reddit was for the community. Stop thinking about yourself. And think about us. I have been thinking about my community, and I put my community in up uh, in front of myself forever. I think for a long, long time. Um, for Real. sure. Like, I, dude, when I, I don't even know how to explain. Like, I have spent a lot of money on my streams when sometimes I shouldn't have spent that money. Um, you know, I've put myself in bad mindsets doing Reddit recaps. So I know it's going to put me in a bad mood. Like, I've put my, my community before me many, many a times. Um, I just had to uh, take a little bit of action for myself here. What were you saying? See, listen, Seagull, that's a horrible idea. Why? Why would you say this? What you mean, dude? You can't, you can't stream on a boat. Yeah, you can, you know? Bro, you can find fish everywhere. Like, for example, Sophia. She smells like freaking fish, bro. There's fish everywhere. No, dude, Sophia smells good, like flowers. Dude, don't say that about his girlfriend, just bro. What the fuck's wrong with you, dog? No. Listen. Need to do this. Okay. I see good see you later, dude. I don't even know what he was saying. I couldn't understand him. Hello, how are you? Rock the Barbarian. Yo, what up, Ice? 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Can, what's your uh, What's your opinion on stuff right now? I just have a. Uh, of course, it's about Reddit. My thing about Reddit is is like you got rid of Reddit for the people that are being positive. Like I can't do appreciation posts. I can't do anything. Like I love the Butler stuff today. Voldesad was doing it. And I don't have, and I don't want to do Discord because Discord to me is like super toxic. I go into the chat, they're saying the N word, no, like they're harassment. They don't they're like say that. Oh, all day. Oh, that's all I do all day. But what I'm saying is, is, is you, you get rid of a place, like, and the toxic people still have new places to go. Like the toxic Reddit is everywhere. You can go, there's like five different ice beside the Reddit that all toxic as hell, and I try to do like anything positive towards you. I get nothing but negative voted. I have no place to even support you. And I love the platform of Reddit. So you're like you're like killing the Reddit side of your community. I and I don't even I, let, I agree that there was a lot of positive people on Reddit, <laughs> and it sucks that I that you know had to do what I did. Um, but they were definitely overshadowed by the negatives. And let me tell you, there is a plan uh, to use Reddit in the future. I'm just uh, we're waiting. That's all. We're just waiting at the moment. Also, Ice, can I? I, you, I, early, we're waiting for, early, you said the analogy about the, uh, how you have a loaded gun on the shelf uh -huh. and, uh, and, and you have to get rid of the gun. And I understand that's a good analogy, but the analogy works another way as well. Say you have guns and you get rid of guns and you delete them. However, the people that are doing the toxic shit, they're going to still get the guns. They're going to still go to the places and be toxic. They're going to still fuck up the CEO's. So the, S the SEOs and get you on Google with negative shit. In fact, they're going to do it times 10 and they're going to be the only ones being able to do it. Yet you're not going to have anything positive on SEO because I, there's no one able to even say anything nice about you. Like I hate to use the word nice, something positive, no appreciation posts. So like you get rid of the guns. Cool. So now you gave everyone toxic in the community the ability to use their guns on the ice Poseidon too, bro, and then this, you don't give anyone for us. We don't even have like to some, support you. This is like some hood shit, homie, right? You got that's a hood uh, example. Um, so Martin Luther read it. All right, so I'm, we, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm saying I'm saying S E O. I think I think they think I'm saying S C O. I'm saying S E O. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm here's sorry the, this is the difference from I'll, I'll say it from a business side, so it's more objective. The, the toxic people can go wherever the fuck they want to be toxic and criticize however they That's want. Right. I don't really, right. I don't really care about that. The difference is I, I don't want to, I don't want to endorse it. I, I get it. I get it. So, and, and I wouldn't want you to endorse it either. It's, it's your brand. It's your company. And, and by the way, I love the scuff. I, I love the scuff movement. I think it's a great idea. However, you're not endorsing. Like if you're endorsing your Reddit, but you're basically just like, you're, you're, you're getting rid of almost, how much of your community loves Reddit? Like you, this whole conversation in Discord right now, everyone in Discord is sitting there talking about how they want Reddit. So you're getting rid of all these positive people just because the fucking 1,000 negative people that are going to be negative regardless. They're still being negative now, right? Are they still not being negative right now, Ice? I mean, there's still negative people, but uh, like I said, it's I the just, most It's I the just... most negative toxic shit I've ever seen towards you ever. I've been watching for like two years and I've never seen this much. Like I'm reading these things. I'm going, holy shit. Where are you Those at? mods and ISIS Poseidon was huh. doing amazing job because I didn't know half this shit about him. Yeah. Listen, this is the, this is the plan, dude. This is the thing. The toxic people, if they want to go somewhere else and be toxic, I, that's fine. I don't care. I don't want them here being toxic and fucking shitty around sure. me and my shit for sure. uh, and i don't want to endorse for it sure. what i want is memes clips and like you know sure some criticisms and opinions but no like toxic fake news fucking stupid bullshit fucking nazi fucking dumb shit um for sure so i just i don't want it just i just i just don't want to be the one endorsing it that's really all it came down to um if they want to go to another fucking whatever and do what they want i don't really care because i don't i'm not going to look at it i'm not endorsing can I it say can I say one more point and I'm not going to attack or anything. I'm just going to say one more when it comes, when it comes to discord and say someone says something that's kind of like fucked up or say they say they do a meme that's misunderstood. And I know discord has the ability of the ability to IP ban. So they can't even come in your community anymore. So basically anyone in your discord that says like even a meme that's misunderstood by your mods gets banned from your discord. And then they try to look for anywhere to post about this. I mean, they're your fans they're, They love your shit. And they try to find anywhere where they can just post anything. And then next thing you know, they're going to, well, where else can I post about them? They're going to all end up in this toxic ass place. But you said like, you didn't want it to fuck with your, 
the Google searches and all this stuff. And you're basically creating this fucking weird, toxic environment that's unmodded. And they're just letting anything go about you, including everything that you said you hated. And they're just going free. They're just like free for all on it. Yeah, and, but and that's what you're sending everything. Here's, here's the thing, dude. Those other little Reddits and other little stuff, they, uh, they can't really reach the top of Google SEO because they just don't have enough. I don't really know how SEO works, but they just don't have enough like clicks or something to get to the top. Right, Whereas right, my Reddit right. had my Reddit was getting 26 million views a month. Uh, that's more than enough to get shit on the top of Google. Be, well, maybe not with right. the quarantine, but yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, have you been you. to the new Reddit? I got to. If so, what that's do you that, think that's about That's all I have to say. I, was, I, I hope I hope that you guys do something with Scuff. I hope you do something with uh, Reddit in general. Well, just... here's the thing. So Scuffed is not my subreddit. Uh, but that's going to be the company's Reddit. It's not my Reddit. It's going to be the company's Reddit. It's going to be um, the Reddit of the house. And I'm involved in that company, but that's not my Reddit. Right. Well, that's good. I, however, you, however you work that, that would be amazing. Because I just feel like the platform of Reddit, and it's not a coincidence that you went to Reddit from the beginning. It's, Reddit isn't going anywhere. Like, you could try to ignore this fucking toxic place or whatever they're creating, but you have to know Reddit is a platform a lot of people prefer. It's like 4chan, it's Reddit. It, it gives you the ability to post and vote. That won't be taken over by Discord. That's this, You could push Discord a thousand times. It's not gonna matter. You know, Reddit isn't, uh, the, one of the top websites on the internet right now is like top five is gonna be Reddit. Yeah. So you can't just say, oh, like forget Reddit, we're gonna all do Discord. I mean, Discord's uh, anyway. not really gonna, yeah, Discord's not gonna, take reddit's place and you know entirely you know it's its own thing but it's still you know something to keep shit active either way ice man i love your shit at first i was hating on the butler streams man i thought in my head god damn this is but today with shout out to your fucking best friend bold boulder sad because what he did today with the butlers that shit sold me i was like god damn that's funny shout out to the to the cornbread butler he's a fucking amazing he's hilarious i like the ray mysterio butler i think he's funny as fuck and i hope you guys i hope you guys don't pick the redhead one but that's just my vote Ice, i love, I know you guys streams, love them. especially in the last anyway, year of easy, streams my class but don't write off the uk again when you live in such a fake toxic place twat lol well, i mean the uk is a good place i, I, I will you want say. memes and clips well paul you actually have to stream in order to get that you know how you get that by having nothing streaming schedule, you drug Well, I mean, in the meantime, if I wasn't streaming, you know, you could use clips from other CX Network streamers. If you don't want to watch them, that's understandable. Uh, <clears throat> but I get what you're saying. That's, you're right about that. Okay, Axiom. Can someone donate and say, go see Okay, Caroline. enough, dude. No, I don't want to hear that. What is that? Fucking crying, like, thing, dude. What's up, Jesus? A friend already had his horseshoe bay. Hello. Hey, hey I I'm said. currently not a member, and I'm extremely new to this world of I'm currently in virgin I waiting. I love you, dude. I really want to okay, help you with that. Uh, how I'm doing the calls is... I love you. All, all you. Thank you. All you have to do is spam click E married room since that's a room that only two people can go into and then whoever gets in it, just we talk. That's how it Yo, works. I've been I've been spamming that just now, dude. My fingers yeah, are killing me. I am me right not now, dude. dragging people in. I'm literally just uh you know, you have to spam click it. Bye. What's up, Shikiyami? You tell me. Is there anything you would like to address? Just use an auto clicker. Don't you have to click your hands with your hands, dude. Hello? Dude, some people don't know how to use Discord, homie. I swear to God. Hello there. Why do these people come in here, dude, if they don't fucking say anything? Ice! I have questions for you. Shoot. What do you got? What do you got? You ever seen Inside the Actor's Studio? Huh? All right, cool. There's 10 questions that'll let us get to know you a little bit better personally. 
Instead of removing the entire Reddit, why okay. can't you just extreme moderate it with rules? I'll wait for the who cares if people don't want to be What is your favorite ATOs? word? People who actually enjoy uh, the I mean, Reddit. that's sort of the future plan, Rim, to an extent. Um, what is my favorite word? Yeah. And the, the these 10 things you're going to ask me gets to know who I am as a person? That's right. It's a pivot questionnaire. Made famous by the French series Bouillon de Culture, hosted by Bernard Pivot. Is this going? Is this going to be like a joke where you say the N word at the end? No. Okay. My favorite word is uh, well. I'm assuming favorite is what you do the most. The word I use the most is probably dude. So dude's probably my favorite word. What is your least favorite word? <laughs> Cocaine, because motherfucker, I heard I hear that every day, and I've never done it. What turns you on creatively? Creativity, spiritually, or emotionally? Uh, I don't know, dude. I just taking a shower does the job. I get pretty creative and uh, spiritual in the shower. There you go. What turns you off? Crying turns me on. That's sexually. Uh, turns me off. Turns me off in what kind of way? Sexually. Creativity, spiritually, or emotionally? What just ruins your fucking day? Uh, when people try to talk to me when I'm not in the, f in the mood. What is your favorite curse word? Fuck. How does this, I don't see how this applies to getting to know me as a person. Test over then you fail. Sorry, I what? What is it? What's the fucking test, dude? What the fuck were you trying to? What the fuck was that? Could I get my mic unmuted? I'll try again. Uh, all good. Hello. Hello. Howdy there. What's going on, Larry? Hey, I got a question for you, partner. Yeah, what is it? Um, what's up? That's not a question. Well, I guess it is. What's up, partner? Um, that's I'm my question for you. Check my, let me see, check Adam22's Twitter. What the fuck? My stream sniper's got jumped. Let me hey, see. stop ignoring me, uh, partner. Dude, what the, what are, what, dude, what? What do you want? I said, what's up, partner? Yes, I'm listening. What is it? That's my question for you. What's up? I'm chilling. I'm playing RuneScape, dog. All righty then. <laughs> Have a nice day, partner. <laughs> All right, thank you, dude. Oh, hey, dude, dude, these, <laughs> my, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hold on, let me mute this for a sec. Dude, this is this is the, these are the black guys from the other day. Hold on. Okay. These, were the, the these were the kids that came over to fucking try to apply to be a butler, dude, during the butler auditions. The drunk one and the do rag one. Don't get caught slipping now. Don't get caught slipping. <laughs> Why did this happen? Why the fuck did this? Why did that happen? Okay, I don't know. Fucking, all right. Trying to be a butler, end up going again, fucking jumped at Adam Spot, I guess. <laughs> fuck it, dude. I mean, they did say they were rappers, so I guess they were really just trying to get their music career out there, and well, now they just ruined it. Yo, what's up, Ice? What's going on, dog? How you doing, man? Um, I just want to say, um, I, I, I'm actually a big fan of yours and what you've done with the CX Network in general. Um, I've been not a three-year-long fan, but I'm um, probably about going on a year, a little more. Um, my best advice would be to ignore any of these fucktards that are telling you how to live your life, whether it means getting... <laughs> Uh, mental help or whatever the fuck because these people probably have more mental health issues than they could even imagine or process so I just want to tell you to keep doing you um, try to remove toxic people from you and uh, like from your surroundings and I think that uh, I think you're on the right track you, I think that everybody think goes through chat some spamming, shit what do you think about the chat spamming yes man when um, anyone is I can nice really give a say. fuck less what any of those fucking fools say because honestly um i think you're a cool dude i think you've done a lot of good things for people i think you've fucked up at times but uh 
everybody fucks up. I fucked up a ton of my life, so I'm no one to judge. And I think for anybody that wants to judge other people without even knowing them, I think that it's kind of low, to be honest. How would you give me constructive criticism? You cut out for a second. What do you say? How would you give me constructive criticism? I mean, dude, uh, you're probably not going to want to hear what I what I what I have to say. Honestly, I mean, uh, it doesn't seem like. Well, uh, me I mean, I've heard other I've heard other people touch on it, and I, I think that uh, I don't know. I I don't want to tell you how to live your life. I think there's. I'm just going to leave it at this. I think there's certain people around you that may have done big things for the network, stuff like that. But I think in ways they're kind of bringing you down also in terms of you you pointed out the other day i'm not going to name drop anything but you pointed out somebody whose actions um had repercussions on you specifically and you how you don't want to deal with that how um you you try to live your life and do your thing and other people's shitty actions you know fall back on you which isn't isn't fair for you um i yes, think that uh yes, 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 i yes. think that it's uh i think there's some people that kind of are latched on you that, um, I, like I said, I've done good things for you, but I think they're kind of ruining you in ways that you might not realize yet. Dude, I fucking love you, dude. That's fucking awesome. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I've always wanted to chat with you. You seem like a cool dude, and uh, I see a bunch of people calling me a soy boy, and I think you people should try to get laid or move out of your parents' basement before you judge anybody else ever. Oh, in your man. Life. Um, I appreciate the the... the the criticisms or the uh, and the nice words i really do thank you very much i don't think he's a yes man chat i think he's just a nice guy i think a yes man is like somebody who's not my friend doesn't want to be my friend but just says yes to everything i say anyway i mean i mean i mean to be me. honest with you to be honest with you if i was chilling with you or something and you did something fucked up i'd tell you it was fucked up i'm not fake well, I, yeah, exactly. I, I don't give if a I was fuck doing about fucked up shit and then you didn't tell me i did fucked up shit that would be a yes man yeah, I mean, like, I, I think that all these people in the Discord seeking approval, I mean, in, uh, in your chat, seeking approval from other people that just want to trash people, I, I think that's more of a yes man than being honest or being real with somebody. Um, and I, I could care, I see the chat, I could give a fuck less um, what how, they say or what anybody says, because I think you, that people, people that see you and what you do realize that you do a lot of good things for people, uh, how old are and you? they want to latch on to the fact that you make, like, some mistakes and shit like that, or that you've made some poor choices, but as a per as a moral human being, I don't think that you're a shit person. I think that you're conflicted in some ways. I think as a streamer, um, uh, I think that there's a lot that goes into mental health and it's factors that people can't like, you know, put, uh, they can't relate to like you have so much shit going on and then you have thousands of people that are criticizing your every move. And it's kind of hard for, you know, you to do you when you have people judging your every single thing you do and shit talking you or your girlfriend or whatever Dude, people in the on. house how, and stuff how, like that. Uh, how old are you, bro? I'm um, 26. Okay. Just wanted to and, know. Uh, yeah. And uh, like, you know, I I think that uh, the guy, that guy's Soapy, I think he, he, from earlier, I think that he was kind of uh, being a little bit of a douche in certain ways. But Fuck I think he, Soapy, he, he touched Fuck upon, that guy. Why don't you come over and be a butler? I think that there's one thing he touched on that was actually relevant, though, and this is just to go along with the fact that I'm not just the yes man. Um, when you do leave LA and you do like travel streams and stuff like that, I think that's when you're at your best. Um, and I think that uh, I think that um, you you really should consider. I mean, you shouldn't listen to me. You do your own thing. But I really think, even though you have the nice new house and stuff like that, I think that you really should get out more and uh, get out of LA because LA could be really toxic, and especially when you're doing what you're doing and you have so much shit going on, like to reset your, uh, your spirituality and like to your, just your surroundings, I think could be crucial for future improvements to the CX network and different ideas and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's, that's my best advice and to keep doing you and, uh, keep providing I like, content. Let me say this, I do like traveling. We are still going to travel, uh, in the future, as we all know, the plans I was talking about, uh, IRL's, in LA, it's gotten. I don't like IRL in, in LA, dude. And if I travel into IRL, it's a lot safer for me. People in LA, there's a lot of people who just want to press me for fucking clout and stuff, and I don't like that shit. I'm just not going to deal with that. I just tase motherfuckers. I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to play that game. I mean, to be, but I'm very to, scared to be, of callers. To, I'm very scared of callers. Like callers used to be. They used to be funny, right? Callers used to be. Oh, let me talk to my brother Ice or or Paul or whatever. And that's you know whatever. But callers nowadays, like, they're just, 
He has a gun. But He's dude, gonna rob dude, the store. Dude, think and it, I actually do have it, this that I carry with me, so somebody will see that maybe and actually shoot me. I mean, think about it like this, dude. Think about how much your life has been put at jeopardy in the past from those idiots. Like the plane incident. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But, like, you know, the, there's been situations where your well-being has been put in, in, in a really shitty situation based off probably 14-year-olds that think that it's funny to try to ruin someone's life, you know? I mean, granted, you got out of it and stuff like that and you got over it, but... You know, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> I see some people say it, Alaska PTSD, but, uh, that's pretty funny. But, um, uh, no, uh, I, saying, I no, think true, that, though, bro, ever since Alaska, I have like real issues, bro. Like I, I've never had an AR 15 pointed at me and I knew that guy came out to try, like he didn't shoot any bullets, but like his intention was to, to probably try to kill us or like, you know, he's trying to defend his store. He thought that I was robbing his store and I was going to beat him with baseball bats. So you know, his intention came, was to come out and harm us. So what about was, the fucking, what about the fucking mafia guy? I think it was in fucking, uh, what's it called Miami. Was it? I forgot. I'm, I, I don't remember, no, but the there was one was place. Har it, it, it was harmless dude, but the gun, if, no, I don't, I don't fuck with guns homie. I really don't. All right. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying, I think that, um, I think that there might be ways for you to get around the whole caller situation. I can't put my finger on how, but I think that there will be a way, um, and you might figure it out or somebody around you might figure it out how to be able to travel and not necessarily have people know your every like move, you know, because then like you could actually maybe effectively do IRL, uh, streams and not have your shit in jeopardy, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, we're going to travel. I have plans for that. The callers just really fucking scare me. I, I actually have almost died a few times because, or like have been in, in trouble because of them a few times. Like, I really don't like that shit, dude. But all right, fucking thanks for the call, dude. Appreciate it. No, no problem. Take. Okay. Yes, man. Voice channel. Chill channel. What are you saying? What is that? What is the yes, man channel? Maybe yes, man channel. What are you saying? Chill, oh, yes. hey, what's up, guys? Dude, the Discord's not fully yes, man, dude. What is this shit? Oh, how you doing? Can you uh, tell Jacob to give me my uh, suit, please? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you give him? Can you tell Jacob to bring my suit? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? All man? right. So, I have a few questions. What is it? Do you still have access to your ice side and paper? Your internet's shit, dude. What'd you say? Do you still have access to your Ice Titan Cape account? No. I think the Discord yeah. is... I think your internet's bad or the Discord's crashing. One of the two. I have no idea. I don't have access to the account now. Why? Why? Okay, sorry, dude. Um, your, your, your internet is so... No, the, the Discord's crashing. Mod, stop letting people spam yes in it, dude. It's crashing the fucking Discord. Since we're not partnered, because Discord fucking... I don't know, doesn't want to partner me for some reason. I don't fucking know. Fucking weird shit. Almost 100,000 people on it. So it's not me, it's Discord. Yeah, Discord's fucking up, dude. It's, it's really not good right now. There's uh, too many people Ice. spamming. Yeah, what, how, what is it? Wait, I gotta, I gotta meet there, this stream real is there, quick. Are there any opinions you would like to say? Am I good to talk? Yes. Okay. As as a uh, a viewer, I'm gonna have to give you some advice here. Okay. By the way, I'm a member of Mensa with 131 IQ. Okay. So, from a business standpoint. I don't think what you're doing is really smart. Why? Like for the um, f like the percentages of the company, you're you're like the majority uh, shareholder, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so um, the revenue for the quote unquote company scuffed is coming from your income. Well, I mean, this is kind of personal information, but. I'm just basically saying that I feel like every streamer in the house, if they don't already, 
should give a portion of their money to the company because I don't think it's fair that they're living rent free in a house with the capability of making unlimited amount of money and you're being, you know, funneled from your money. It's going straight to the investors and everything. So, no, it's not even my money, dude. It's the investors' money. And taking no, but how are they? How are they going to make back their money? They can't well, invest me, their own money this. into the, taking a the, percentage themselves. from. Every, let me start with this. Taking a percentage from everyone in the house uh, isn't going to do shit for the investors. The investors gave us two million dollars uh, for us to make that back through taking, let's say, twenty percent from the streamers. It's not. We're never going to make that shit back from that. I'll, at most, I'll make fifty k for the year for, from twenty percent, right? So that's, there's no point to do that except to demotivate the streamers. In fact. Uh, that's bad to do. Yeah, but I mean, so now the, then for, they just the think revenue, that they can just walk all over you, though. Dude, that's my thing. No one's walking like, all over me. If I want to take money, I can. I just don't want to. I want to motivate people. So in order for the investors to make their money back, uh, what we do is we grow the company to a certain point, and then we have other investors come in, and obviously they invest their money as well, hopefully more than $2 so, million. So it's a and then scheme. obviously when we get more than $2 million invested, yeah, you, they, the other investors will get their two mil okay. back, and then we have more money for the company and shit like that so or something like that i don't know it's not so you're using investors money to invest in other people no we're building a company dude we're building a fucking a website okay yeah yeah it's not a so pyramid like, scheme so or a ponzi run, like, ads scheme. In there? it's not a ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme okay uh i don't really know how to explain it because i didn't explain that very well i guess um Investors. I mean, invest, I kind of, I get, I get. Investors invest, invest money. Uh, if we reach the expectations of the investors, they invest more money with hopefully new investors as well, and then they are essentially paid back through either uh, equity that's not diluted, or they just get their money back as more investors have invested money. So it's like hard to explain, but that's how they and then obviously if we sold the company that's how the investors would make the money back by selling the company not really from revenue that the company has youtube doesn't okay. really make money youtube sells you know has advertisers that's how youtube makes money oh and yeah the same thing so you of, see the uh, new ad apocalypse stuff yeah i have like but uh, everybody's the same, thing crazy. Was, the same thing was sort of go on on uh on scuff.com as well we would you know, have advertisers pay us to advertise on the site, but it wouldn't be like child friendly shit. Obviously my content, anyone who streams that site, their content is not going to be rated G. It's going to be like PG 13 R rated shit. So we'd have to get like weed advertisements and like shit like that. Like just a little bit more older, hardcore ad okay. advertisements. Yeah. That's how they'd make the shit back. Chat it's not a Ponzi scheme. A Ponzi scheme is when you take money from investors. You actually don't start a company. You don't do anything with the money. And then uh, you use that money to leverage yourself to get more money, and then you pay back the other fucking investors. Yeah, that's, you make it look like they they're getting more in their accounts that's by what, like that's what putting a, a percentage is. of everybody's. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Get a little information about that. But I'm not, all right. I'm not leaving YouTube chat. I'm gonna stream on Scuff.com and YouTube. Uh, Scuff.com probably stream like once a week for a while, and then maybe two twice a week after a few months, and then like I'm always gonna be streaming on YouTube though. All right. See you guys. All right. Later, dude. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I need to uh, chat. I need to get ready and go on my hey. date. Hey. Hold on. The business plan. What do you say? The business plan doesn't make any sense. So you're getting a loan and hope to get bigger. No. Okay. I didn't explain that well at all. It's not a loan, it's an investment. If the company, if, okay, let's say we don't reach the expectations the investors want us to reach, like, like that sucks, you know? Then the investors are out $2 million, but you know, it's not a loan, I don't have to pay anybody back. Um, and uh, you know, obviously we have realistic expectations here. <clears throat> and then, you know, we're gonna make money through, like I said, advertisers and stuff. We don't need to take money from the streamers, dude. Like. There's, there's definitely, uh, it's not, there's, I, I don't know, whatever chat, fuck, that's why you don't, that's why you can't, I can't, that's why I don't talk business to fucking chat, dude, because fucking motherfucking ass, uh, everything's a scam or something. Um, <clears throat> how do I look right now? 
I would take you guys with me, but I just know callers are going to fuck that up, so I'm not going to take the stream with me. I'll be back. I don't know how much. I'll probably be back uh, in two and a half hours. I don't really know. When I come back, we're going to eliminate one of the butlers, okay? So get forward to that. I'm probably going to be drunk because I'm going to be drinking a lot. Um, we're going to eliminate one of the butlers when we get back, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put on my tie, and uh, just a clip-on tie. Ready to go. I'll tell you guys how it goes when we get back. I'm not going to tell you what I'll put on later. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, oh, I do know where we're going. I'm not going to tell you guys where we're going. I'll tell you guys when we get back how it goes. All right. Um, if I am drunk as shit when I come back and eliminate the butlers, then that could be just funny. All right. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on in a sec. All right. So uh, I'm going to host. Let me see. Who's on? Who's live right now? CX Network. I know Adam is doing a thing. Adam's doing a thing. Let's see, CX News, is it live? CX News, did it just go live? No, I thought it did. And this is going live. There you go. Okay, everybody go check out CX News. I'm gonna post a link in the chat and I'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? Uh, don't go to sleep. Fucking, let's wait to see who which butler gets eliminated. All right, guys, so uh, go in there, talk to him, and I'll see you in a bit. I gotta go. Peace, dudes, love you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.